What's happening, lads? Before we start this week's episode of the Have A Word podcast, do us a favour, make sure you're following us on all social media. We are at Have A Word Pod on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. And on top of that, don't forget to go and subscribe to the Patreon page, patreon.com slash Have A Word Pod. Early access to these episodes, an extra episode just for you lot every single week on Patreon. And don't forget those monthly specials of which there are 40 plus now. They're basically a movie every single month. Patreon.com slash have a word pod. Enjoy the episode. It's a belter. Wag wag leads. You're listening to the funniest podcast in the game. From the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kyle and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, I thought I was going to burp. Oh, you're Probably. not well, are you, baby? Um, something's not right. Oh, no. Something's not right. But you switched your game up. I'm achy. I'm really achy. Have you I been actually, in the gym or anything? I've been at the gym. Friday and Saturday, I really pushed my little fat white ass. and uh, But it shouldn't still be achy now. What's going on? It feels a bit COVID-y. Oh, great. I'm glad you came it's, in. If imagine if I hadn't feel a bit out of I it. I would have been called a, a word. If I messaged and went, I think I feel a bit COVID-y, I'm not coming in today. Yeah, you would have been called so many words. Yeah, I'd have been called loads in of words. Prison in Australia. I don't know what that because I like Oh yeah. If Isn't I get COVID in Australia and I, I get locked in prison over there and I have to stay in Australia for six months. I know somebody who's quarantined that, in Australia right is now. Is that how it works? Yeah. It's a six month sentence. It's something like you that. You go to prison. Yeah, for yeah, six yeah. Years. You can't even play tennis. Just, I know someone who's doing that right now. What? Quarantining in Australia. No, it's not a thing anymore. Is it on his Instagram, it is. Well, then he's being a gimp. You don't have to tell anyone you've got COVID anymore, anywhere in the world. No way. You never... Can you imagine being the type of person who tests whether they've got COVID now? Oh, I just want to see if I should go outside. People still do it. I never tested positive, which makes me a bit upset. Why? Because I never got the, like, ah, no. fucking, what is? FOMO, innit? I was always negative, even though FOMO I on it. feeling shit for 10 days. No, because I still felt sick. Sometimes right. in a death of it, it's just full testing that one. But I never got like the hey, stay home. What was fun was uh, having to do gigs uh, for John Bishop and having to take a, a brand new test result. You couldn't, like, you couldn't gig with Manford or Bishop in that period after COVID without, and you had to go. Mine was a, a like a drive through. It was, it honestly felt like a drive through death camp. It was in like, Connor's Key, you drove into this wasteland and they've just got like rows and rows and then you go in and they like reach a thing in and you've got a fucking... Welcome just to the death a... camp, love. How do you want to die? Eh? <laughs> okay, that's that's lane four. What do you Swap want? What do you want? Uh, we'll have two bullets in the back of the head and the back of the car. The JFK special, please. <laughs> and uh, they want to be gassed in the front. I'll just be bummed. It was grim. Just to go and fucking... Hang you on. want to bum to death? Does she work there? Oh, right. mm-hmm. I'll do that, love. Pants drive off. through death camp. So is is the picture this right? It's like a Mackie's drive through. Oh, she's driving. You, no, no, no. So the first voice of the works. girl's voice is the working there. But she oh. said, "I'll just get bummed." Like it was. No, 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 no. So the first person was like, "Welcome to the drive through death camp. What can I get you?" So yeah. she is like, "How do you want to die?" Right. And then the next bit, I was playing the driver, and they were ordering for everyone in the car like you would in a Mackie's. You think bummed to death is a death camp option? I, I mean, maybe. I, I've never been to a drive through death camp, and neither have you. So. <laughs> That's not. You don't drive through. I'll get um, bummed to death, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, love. The bummer machine's off at the minute. Oh, it's a machine. I thought it was. <laughs> the bummer machine's getting clean. I thought it was a guy called Jeff who just really randy. I always I, think I that when they're like, like you just got to be enough. You just got to be very <laughs> careful, like, being uh, like cunts to like waiters and stuff because they will bum you to death. They're all wanking your food and you're like spitting your food. They'll be jizzing your food. You're like, no, they won't. Never been to prison, have you? No one's going to jit. Who's so annoyed that I've complained about like the lasagna that no, they're no, going to no, no. wank in no, the no, kitchen? No, no. 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 complaining no. about the lasagna and being a cunt to the waiter. Not to say, if you're a cunt to a waiter, they will fuck with your food. Yeah, I'll pay when you food. They're not wanking in it, though. No. No. I don't think anyone's actually ever said that to you, though. I think you've hyperbolized it. He's going no, to wank, wank in your food, then. She will jizz in well. your food. They'll spit in it. Love spit. Oh, that was they might gross. finger their own arsehole and then rub it on your sausages. Yeah, oh. I wouldn't do spit. I'd get away with spit, spit, whatever. Arsehole stuff's the worst. Or gooch, like gooch play. 
Like if I rubbed your like, rough beef first four minutes on my gooch. Beef bourguignon? Yeah. Dan loves beef bourguignon as well. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's just beef with sauce. Oh, is it? There you go. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people will fuck with your food if you're rude to them. And with your drinks. If you're a cunt to a bartender, they'll just underpour you all night. So you're paying for like doubles and you're getting like less than a single. Fuck. Yeah, it's never going to be a problem of mine. I'm pretty nice to a lot of people, you know? It's like consistent. I just, you know, there is a limit of what people are going to do in it. I know customers can be cunts. Chefs Have you ever been rude it. to like a, a service member staff and then afterwards been like, ah, oh, I was a bit much there? Yeah, maybe. Oh. Maybe, maybe you've been a bit short or whatever, you know? Height but genuinely, really. like I'm, I'm fairly consistent. have to be five foot 11 to eat at this restaurant. Well, I am. Got me fucking boots on. Midget discount. Oh dear. Don't be rude to hospitality stuff. It's like top of most people's lists on dates. It's isn't a it? big ick, isn't it? Like how you treat people who are serving you is a big sign of how you are in life. Just just be nice. They don't want to be there. So just make sure your, your interaction with them is nice. Be nice to most humans. No, be Try nice being nice to humans. But I'm saying if there's someone like cleaning your table away, Help them all, like, say thank you. Don't be like, yeah. Yeah, but just cunts don't like their lives. And then they're like, do you know what? Yeah. I am the customer. And all of a sudden, I'm more important than this person. You're like, fuck off. Totally. But, fuck but, off. So, I, look, I'm overly friendly to service staff. Like, at a bar, even if I'm leaving, I'll take home my pint glass back, put it on the bar for them. Like, I go to Bold Street Coffee, I'll have my breakfast. I always take it to the thing so that I don't leave a messy table. I don't always do that. Like, if it's a busy place or doesn't, I don't know exactly where to put it. But, like, if I know what I'm doing, I'll, I'll take stuff back. And, like, when I'm gigging, if I'm comparing, I'll, I'll always say to the audience, like, take your glasses back to the, the bar and, and stuff. you say please and you say thank you. Totally. It, yeah. And Treat I've had like problems on dates and in past relationships where my partner or the person I'm dating with has been rude to the service member staff and it's caused a problem. However... Ooh. However, Ooh. what I will say is because this is a very common general consensus now that you should be really nice to service staff. And if you're rude to them in any way, it is seen as like, you know, you get ostracized by society. I think a lot of people Six who months. work in service and work in shops and stuff <laughs> now know this and they are cunts. Sometimes they're cunts on purpose because they know you don't want to go, fuck you actually. Because yeah. then they get to go, you're being rude to me and I'm making you a latte. Well, you, but you're allowed to stand up for yourself and expect standards. And you yeah. can you can be firm and, and complain without being a cunt, can't you? Totally. Yeah. The cost, like the customer used to always be right. The customer is oh, what a a never right now. Never right what now. a load of shit that was. Yeah. What a terrible like way to go about it. The customer's always right. You're like, oh my God. What if they come in and say... Well, actually, that's an Hitler incomplete phrase, isn't it? Is there a comma there? So it's the customer is always right. In fact, they're not actually. Like, I don't know. The, <laughs> <laughs> the customer is always right. Ignore what I've just said. I'm talking shit. Why did they call me that? The customer's always right, but they're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Google it. The, the, full, uh, the full phrase is right or wrong. The customer is always right. Yeah. Well, that's wrong, isn't it? What do you mean? I, I get it. It's that, like, in in retail, it's a way of training staff, isn't in, it? It's in like, retail, even if it's wrong, like whatever them, they like, say, right. whatever they say, you, they're a customer, and we've got to make a sale. Like, no, let's dehumanise it. They're not. They're, they're a guest. They are a person. They're just a person, and That's they a, can be wrong. A very common thing in hospitality now. We got told not to call people in our restaurant customers. They were guests. Right, but they're paying to be there. They are, yeah. But it's just, customer. I know, but you wouldn't. A say. guest is come to ours. Don't worry, keep your money. No, make the bed for you. Chocolate on your pillow. It doesn't matter what you call them. It doesn't matter what you call them, though. That idea that because they're paying, they're like a superhuman for that hour and a half is a load of shit. No, the reason we say guest was like, say I was saying to you, I'd be like, oh, that, that guest over there needs blah, blah, blah. It just sounds better than me saying that customer over there needs. It just makes them feel a bit more valued. There's loads of phrases like that, though, that are like, have been like reduced and they actually end up meaning like the opposite of what they... Like jack of all trades, master of none, is meant to be a compliment. And it's seen as like an insult, isn't it? Oh, he's a bit of a jack of all is trades. It, yeah. So it's jack of all trades, master of none is better than being a master of one. Like Google that one. Like that. That's an incomplete phrase. It's meant to be like he can do a bit of everything. Him. Like he's, he's worth having. At everything. James Miller. Yeah. A jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Ah, where do you go? 
been flipped. Yeah. Shakespeare. Do you know what my favourite saying is? And I taught someone this the other day. Yeah, um, how ye is it now? Yeah. How ye? Because um, she was like, oh, I, I'm, I'm dead scared. They've got quite an inferiority complex. Like when she meets like people she sees like as famous. And your favourite saying is, shut up, you stupid bitch. Did that no, help? No, I said, everyone wipes their ass. Right. That's how I say it. Everyone wipes their ass. The problem with that, Carl, is you don't. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, Beyonce has to fucking wipe her ass all night. I don't think she does. You don't, you don't She's think... got a Japanese toilet. Okay, then, but they all got dirty ass. I thought asses. you were going to say a Japanese doing some work <laughs> and wiping her ass. Everybody it. shits. Yeah, everyone's got a shitty ass at Apart some point from in the people day. with colostomy bags. Yeah. I, I, and she I went, think oh, your theory way. doesn't quite work, Carl. Why? Because not everyone does wipe their ass. No, but you know what I mean? It humanises everybody. Not everyone's a, everyone has to do some dirty shit throughout the day and wipe the bums and <laughs> have pooey bums. Yeah, <laughs> but the rest of the day, they're like, you know, billionaires. Yeah, but they still have pooey bums. Ah, right. Billionaires the, All I mean themselves. is it humanises them. They're just people. I've they're got still a bit got of an inferior to, uh, inferiority. Well, Jeff Bezos shits himself. So <laughs> have a great day. You feel better now? Nice one. No, but everyone's got the same human functions. Everyone's got the same body. Everyone does the same stuff, like at the basic level. Everyone has got the same body. I shit a lot more than... I wipe my ass more than anyone else. Nearly I'm as much as it. Jeff Bezos. Well, then you're obviously lovely to speak to. He shits himself loads. <laughs> he's covered in shit. He shits himself. <laughs> but he's taking his glasses back. That's nice, isn't it? It's like the... <laughs> covered in shit. It's like the imagine him naked thing that people do when they do some kind of public... I know speaking. what... I know the... I, I know don't... I've never understood that one. Just picture everyone naked. Like, that would make me any less nervous. I'd be more... Oh, everyone's got their dick out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've never got that one. I yeah. haven't either. And don't do it if you're a primary school teacher. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> do you I'm know the origin of it? God. No. It... I wouldn't... I'd say even senior school teachers bang out of order, actually. <laughs> yeah. Anybody in position of power? Lecturers as well? Yeah. No, not anyone in position of power. What? With, no. their, with their subordinates, yeah. No, it's, it's only imagining. It's not real. Oh, so you think it'd be okay if, like, the prime minister's thinking, "Look at it." It's... Yeah, it's more. That's more okay than yeah. imagining. Yeah, eight-year-olds naked, isn't it? Yeah, Keir yeah, Starmer, yeah, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Keir Starmer picturing people's tits at the Labour Party convention. Mm, good one. Like, is better. That's than like jack of all trades. Peter everyone teachers. knows the end of that saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a good saying. But I don't get it. I don't understand why that's meant to Would that to help feel. you? No. Because I'd be like, shit, yeah, tits it out. Hey, look at his dick. I'd be so distracted. Yeah, if one person had their dick out at one of my gigs, I'd be thinking of nothing else but his dick for the entire time. <laughs> it's a fact, isn't it? What, Imagine what? if you could actually picture it in your mind properly, how creative your mind would be to look at a crowd of 200 people and be able to imagine all of them, like, naked. Because your head doesn't work like that. Do you know why I walked into my uh, flat last week, right? And uh, that must have hurt. Me, uh, one of my flatmates was watching um, like a, a manga cartoon thing, and in it, the woman, like one of the women, fucked one of the men. Like it's like an adult manga cartoon. Hentai. And even no, n not porn. Oh, it was just like a sexy one. It was like, it's an, like an eighteen action show. All oh, right. Like like it had a sex scene in it. Sexy action. And <laughs> even though it was a cartoon, she had tiny tits. And I right. just think, like, if you're going to draw that, you'd just give it a pair of fucking wallopers, wouldn't you? No, because some men like little boobies. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ask your question. It's, he a, wasn't ca a, it's a character, isn't it? Mm. So they've created the character. Yeah, but if you know at the right. start, right, she's going to get shagged at some point, you give it a pair of bastards. That's you? like saying, don't ever hire an actress with small tits because no, there's it's actresses not. out there agree. with big tits. No. <laughs> First of this all. is ridiculous. But Why are you in a film <laughs> with small tits? When there's other women with big tits, you should be in the film. Okay, first of all, Correct. bad argument, because I agree with that anyway. But let's say I didn't agree with that. You can't just force an actress to get a boob job every time she gets a job. No, you just get another actress. That's the same as drawing bigger boobs. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's I not. can draw big tits. I couldn't hide a big titted actress or yeah. actor, as we'd say, going forward. No, you... Like, if you're drawing a cartoon that you know is getting a tits out, give it a pair of bastards and make everyone's day. Make right. it. And if you're casting a film, yeah, and is uh, an actress getting her boobs out, no, because always have the no, big same no, no, boobs. No, no, because when it comes to casting an actress, the t the the tiny titted actress might be a better actress than the one with the wallopers. But in the cartoon, just give a big. It's the same voiceover. It's all just facts here, mate. Facts with bro. There's acting ability, isn't there? When it comes to like the other one, but like when it comes to the cartoon, 
Give her big tit, tiny pink pussy. Oh. Beautiful arsehole, shaved. What? You know what I mean? Was your hurt flatmate wanking? <laughs> <laughs> tiny pink pussy. Like really tight. Is that number like two for you? Fins first. You know what I mean, though? Is that number two for you? What? Tits and a tiny pink pussy. Nice ass. Right, that's the... Good ass. Perfect arsehole. Like a perfect starfish. What have we become? Some people. <laughs> what do you mean become? Some some men, mm. not me included. I like a, a bigger booby. Some men like little boobies. Yeah, gay men. <laughs> they like women with little boobs. They prefer them. They're called men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gay men like men. Stand by that. Finn, are you a big on a little booby man? Um, it doesn't doesn't matter, doesn't it? It's boob to boob. Ooh, oh, that's no. just not true. I'd say... Would I you rather have my mind. tits in your mouth or Sydney Sweeney's? Uh, hi, hi, I started talking. I uh, I don't mind as long as they're both the same size. Is that fair? Like, I will literally roll with most boobs. Oh, both do. It's, as long as they're the same size. I totally disagree. Yeah, I'd rather have one of each, depending on what mood I'm in. You know? Small left, big right. Yeah. I mean, most girls have got a bigger booby. No, I mean, like... It's a very mm. common chat in women's like WhatsApp groups there. I, like which one's on. your best hit? Hang on. There's there's the slight difference. Which of Laura's is your favourite? It's lefty. Yeah. Same. I'm left wing. I love Laura's left hit. Um but I mean I'm talking like very noticeable. Yeah. I'd love like a C cup and a double D. C cup's still class, isn't it? Then double D is like, do you know what? I'm on a hangover. Give me the bigger one. Oh, I'm on I think it'd be discombobulating. <laughs> what? I think it'd be discombobulated. I just think, you know, variety is the spice of life, as I always say. Have you got a bigger bollock? Go on, the hangs a bit lower. Is it bigger? I've never, like... Mine's bigger. Is and it? is that why it hangs lower? Gravity. Uh, How often are you checking for the old lumps in your balls? Because you meant to, Every time I get a shower. What? But then I always scare myself because you feel that bit of gristle. I you? stopped doing this when I was about nine because I found a lump. <laughs> <laughs> You stopped checking, checking for cancer for when you were nine. Cancer. But uh, we got nine. told in school when we were young, like, you know, <laughs> while, while you wanking, have a little What are you doing about. in there, Adam? I'm trying to save a life, mum. Not wanking. Yeah. Whatever. In the shower? No. I, w I wasn't, like, feeling me balls in the shower. I was just checking when I was, you know, alone and bored. When they're warm and droopy. Yeah. Um. I, I, I thought I had a lump on uh, me bollocks. So I, was, I made me dad book me an appointment to the doctors, and I went, and the doctor had a little feeling. He was like, it's just your cum pipe. I've had an enlarged cum pipe since I was nine. Yeah. Bit Lance Lance Did Armstrong. He... <laughs> yeah. Did he use the phrase cum pipe? Yeah. You would do with a child. You would you'd <laughs> use the phrase cum pipe with a nine year old. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Yeah. Cum pipe with a nine year old. Yeah, because yeah, they don't know what yeah, NHS is on its fucking ass. I don't Never mind he... a doctor. We'll go I and don't see think Dave. he did. I I've since, you know. At one point, I thought I had a sexually transmitted disease, and I didn't. I had an inflamed cum pipe. And when I was an adult, and I went and got that checked, they said, you've inflamed your cum pipe. Once again, ex like verbatim. That's yeah, what no, say. that is verbatim. You use it with an adult. I remember yeah. you telling us that when, you, yeah. when it happened. Yeah. They said, you've inflamed your cum pipe. And this it must was, have started when you were nine. It was because I had like an all-night fuck session and cum too much. Mm, lovely. When you come back, doing too much work. Yeah. It's just a matter of time before you just jot some of this down and we sell a book of poetry. <laughs> I they're all like My cum pipe is inflamed <laughs> fucking all night. That's the end of that one. Adam? Yeah, it happens, you know, especially if you're shagging. Mm. Every day, you're checking the balls would, every day. Would you wash your bollocks every day? What? Do you wash your testicles every day? Please say yes. Like, I. Like I'm what it, does, what it doesn't take it's not like I'm rummaging round. Like they're not it's just a small little bollock purse. Like it's not it doesn't take ages. Like no, I don't you get in there and you get like you 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 Yeah, it's pretty quick though, isn't it? Can, can, I, can really? I ask you a question? If you don't mind. And you could stand up for it if you if you'd be right. feeling really generous. Yeah. Could you take me through your shower routine? Oh, this is a good one, this we like the, this the order of like your the shower's on. Yeah. So like t take me through. Like if you're getting a proper shower, not just like a quick yeah, one, yeah, yeah. like your actual shower for the day. Yeah. Like, because I can tell you mine, I, like in order, perfectly. Well, I've got a hack at the start to lather up. What's that? You use your pube thatch. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does this. What do you mean? What is that where you put the shower gel and then you sort of generate yeah. it from yeah. there? 
Oh, that makes that that's like your HQ. That is wild. But it works. That's like some things on the skin. It'll just like fuck off. You need a bit of friction. It does sort of make sense. Honestly, you know? it works. So so here's what I do. I get in the shower, immediately wash my hair. First thing I do, shampoo, wash my hair. Yeah? And then no. I rinse that off. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Nope. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So that takes a couple of minutes, yeah. yeah. Uh, Rinse that off. Then I put my conditioner in my air, leave that in while I wash the rest of me. Nah, yeah? that's smart. That's got to be in for a few minutes. Two minutes. So it, I remember the night. It, it, here's me logic, right? Yeah. I get me, I only use Dove shower gel, right? So I, 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 I So you're still on the Dove? Sensitive skin. Sensitive skin. Dove! Dove's that's just zero. It would literally help all of your eczema if you just use Dove instead of like zero pH. What do you think? You think I'm using non? You use Lynx, just think... Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Lynx from the nineties. Lynx chocolate in the morning. Oh, my skin. As if I don't use. I use a naught percent everything. I'm like very careful Dove, about then? that. But Dove is not as sense like Dove's not the one. It's not zero percent. I thought that was like a maybe, pH maybe. zero. Right, Dove's go. great. Smells d- nice. No, n- smells like so. Go. He's a dovey boy as well. So I get me, I get quite a lot of uh, dove on my hands. Yeah. And here's the thing, right? I use my chest and my arms to get that all lathery, right? I leave my underarms for now. Yeah. So mm. that's all lathery, that's there. Then I get more dove, yeah. a second lot. Yeah. Right? For your bollock. And I rub that on my mons pubis and use that to clean under my foreskin. Oh. And then I get. I'm saving so much time by not having things. Four I get skin, a tiny head. little bit extra dove. <laughs> a head? A head. <laughs> tiny little bit extra dove. For your asshole. Clean me gooch to me asshole. Right? Three litres of dove. Do you go front to back? I go like gooch and then up. Oh, I go and I then, go round the back, me. Right? Like I'm wiping my ass. Um, and then finally, the last thing I do is use the stuff that's still lathered on here to do my armpits. And the reason I do my armpits last is I think that's the sweatiest bit of me and I don't want to get sweat under me bell end. Oh. Yeah, it's like women who wipe, you know. But you yeah. do wash your hands in between back. wiping your ass because you don't want to get shit on your on your armpits either. Do you? I'm not saying you've got a shitty ass, <laughs> but by that logic, but he's a billionaire. I, I yeah, I do. I rinse my hands yeah, before okay, I do this, so. but yeah. yeah. And then I get my conditioner out last, and that's done. So I use me twenty five minutes. The, done friction. And you'll notice there, ladies and gentlemen, didn't mention me legs once because I don't wash my legs because I'm a real white man. So. Apparently Dan, that's a white thing. There's no way you wash your legs, Dan. That's, what a waste of fucking I wash my time. Legs, I don't wash my feet. Yeah, but you have really that's smelly That's the wrong shins. way round, by the way. If I was going to wash I've one washed of my them. feet on special occasions, but I don't Make your birthday. Yeah. Super Bowl. Happy birthday. We're all washing our feet. Yeah, just It's all just water. going down yeah, yeah. there, like... Yeah. No, I but do you wash. get in and, like, between your toes and scrub your feet. Because oh. I do that maybe, like, once a month. Do you do your ears? What do you mean? Do you get clean inside your ears? Not in, in the, the shower. shower. Yeah, because if you, you, your ears get dirty, but you very don't get easy. water in them. You don't clean your ears with water. That's fucking mental. No, not in, but I mean like inside the actual ear. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. In, like down my ears. No, I do all of that when I'm doing me. Uh, when I'm just using me pen to get me. I know. I, I do it in the shower because your ears get dirty quick. Really? Yeah. You didn't brush your tongue until about two years ago. Yeah, that was that was poor. Genuinely didn't even know that that was a thing people were really doing. <laughs> it's a myth. <laughs> just sort of hadn't picked it up. Two brush. I've just started using turmeric soap because it's good for psoriasis. And that's uh, the first change I've made for ages. Been using 0% just shower gel for fannies, basically. I just use Femme Fresh. I d- you, Laura's zero percent femme fresh was is quite good. Yeah, it doesn't rad, m- annoy my skin. But I basically, it's I've got a similar routine. It's just quick. it's to clean your pussy because it needs to stay balanced. Because if you knock the acidity it's like or the creme fresh that you put in like salads. No, don't put creme fresh in your fanny in a shower. <laughs> That's not advised. Okay, we're checking. You're not making a salad. Very, very similar sounding words. What do you have on your nachos? Femme fresh. <laughs> I can't believe you've had a go at me for using Dove. It's such a fucking fair way. Like it's just... I know it is, because you don't have sensitive skin. I do? He no, does. you don't have my level of sensitive skin. No, I don't have your... No, of course. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You can use, and you're like, oh my God, it's dead sensitive. It stinks of soap. The stuff I use doesn't stink of soap. Skin tennis Because it here. can't... No, it's just, <laughs> I can't use, like, Dove. You can't too... use Dove? That is... No, I know. It's, it's nothing, in it. He's cause... a little baby, isn't he? Your baby. Um... 
But yeah, not having to wash my hair saves a lot of time. I don't yeah, have to like get that in the foreskin. The, the drawback of having me hair as long as I've There's ever no had it. No drawback with me. No foreskin. <laughs> Do you clean your belly? <laughs> yeah, I do. I know you do. And Laura un- does. under it as well. Yeah, Laura he cleans your clean, belly. No, cleans his belly. <laughs> That's lovely. It's nice. It's good to spend time together. <laughs> We're close, aren't we? Yeah, like couple, Laura. Yep. Couple Where are belly. you off, Laura? 11 a.m. Round to Adams. Clean his belly. Yeah, so if you're at home when you're a boy and you're like 20, you're not washing yourself properly. Or wiping your ass properly, probably. Oh. Well, a lot of men don't wipe their ass properly. Do you properly. know, I, I think... Can I just say this about young lads? I don't think that washing their body is the problem. Clothes. I think they're dickheads with clothes and their room. I think they're sleeping in a fucking cesspit, never changing the sheets. I'm just going back to what I was like. Like, if you are single and you're trying to get laid, tidy up your fucking gaff a bit. Like, clean the bathroom. Make sure you don't live in a fucking pit. Because when when lads are like, oh, got a bit of a stink on, I don't think it's them. I think they're washing I think that's quite instinctive. I think it's the fact they're putting on a t-shirt for the fourth time. Yeah. Or a jacket. What, I'll tell you what smells washed. worse than a t-shirt that's on for the fourth time is a t-shirt that was like left too long to dry. Like yeah. all like a hundred percent. Those those clothes that like were like left in a bundle and then they were dried. That smell. Apparently not everyone can smell it, you know, which is why some people wear clothes like that and they're just fucking milling about today. Oh, but if they come within a yard again, you're like, oh, like it's, worse than... it's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Like, but that's that's a, that's being a young lad, isn't it? Like, oh, I've got fucking wash clothes. And then you put it in and you forget about it for three days there's, and then get it There's comics I know. That's me now. There's comics I know that's like stink. Sometimes because of their clothes. Yeah, I know that. And there's I'm like female comics who smell because of the clothes. Yeah. It's not even just lads. Yeah. Like there's some women stink stinkers too. because no, but you'd generalize you'd think women aren't as yeah, they're a bit smelly. More Musky. Yeah. And it's because they've gone, Oh, this is my stage jacket. This is what I wear on stage, and then it's warm on stage and you're performing. There's a comic that shit needs a Welsh. I won't name him, but it's quite easy to figure out who it is. I know who it is. There's a comic who used to get someone up on stage as a volunteer like for his act, right? And uh, he, he was like a jongler's headliner for a while. And as part of it, he would get someone up on stage and get them as part of it. And it involved them putting his jacket on, right, for his act. And he did hot water at the Holiday Inn and a woman, like, on stage burst out crying because his jacket smelled so bad. <laughs> I wouldn't even just stop coming. That stopped me life. He wasn't asked though. He was just like, oh, she's being ridiculous. And we you were like, should be asked. I'll tell you who it was, because you'll know him and you just got to bleep her. Oh. I didn't know that was. I thought it was the other one. No. Amazing. Pizza the one who made us all leave yeah, yeah, the yeah. mixer. Yeah. Yeah. Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> You're not beating the one who made me and Adam leave a, a nightclub. No, I stayed there. You left with someone else. And I was I like, did. where have you gone? And you were like, he stinks. Got to go. I mean, yeah. everyone's looking at us. Well, we've told the story of the anonymous when Gary Delaney, I think, literally just spoke to the comic and went, you need to sort out your clothes, they smell. And this had been after years of the whole circuit being like, what are we going to do? This dude really smells. And it's sort of like Gary Delaney just dealt with it and was the adult that none of us had been for like four years. Bleep this. Who was that? No, I don't. I hate bleeping. It's so like little secrets that it's dead annoying for them. I'll it was t- you, wasn't it, then? It was me. <laughs> it was Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's just a weird thing where you're like, every time you work with someone, you're like, whoa. I, I actually said to Laura, I'm thinking about sending an anonymous letter with some fucking deodorant and just go, hey, I'm someone that works for you. I, I've can't deodorant bring myself can't to do it. handle stuff like no, that. No, I know, but it would be a fucking start because he hummed. Send some fucking Ajax, mate. Fucking some dove. It is the best available. It's the new home <laughs> shirt for Ajax. <laughs> Wear that. Go to Amsterdam, Clean you dove. smelly bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst thing you can be, is a stink. Would you rather stink a BO all the time or have dog shit breath? Ooh. Uh, like, it, like, I think dog shit breath is the worst. We I, 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 so I, Listen, I think BO is, is bad. When someone has a bit of a pong on, bad. But... Like oh. a really horrific fucking breath. Something racing. You never. Oh my god, my my dad's breath. One morning when we were away together for the weekend, it's like he'd been like chewing dog shit in the night. Might have been. Oh my god, <laughs> you it was the been worst breath. 
but I, I still kissed him because he's my dad. You know what I mean? We're at the Italian Grand Prix. You chewing dog shit, Dad? Oh, you're going to ruin this. He's, we were just chatting. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Come me hear you. I gave him a chew, chewing gum. I actually went and bought some, especially. I was like, I'm having chewing gum. Do you want three? And uh, he had it, and it just smelled like mint and shit. <laughs> airwaves. Some long like. airwaves. First morning. First morning. Airwaves, surely. But I don't know. We were in Italy. Oh, hell, mate. That's like lemo to me, airwaves. <laughs> If I have an airwaves, mate, I am flying for the rest Wank of the day. Wanking till 2 a.m. Wow, we can have juice off them and I'd be like, they're some kind of drugs then, mate. <laughs> Do you like luminous green? Because I used to have like bubble gum and shit, like hubba bubba. And you go off one of them. <laughs> really oh, like that. Oh, like under 10, a kid. Oh, right, okay. Uh, <laughs> 21, hubba bubba. I'd go, I'd go, I'd go, I'd go BO over breath, what do you think? Because I, I genuinely think really dog shit breath. We knew someone whose breath stunk that bad, it was like warm. John A.A. No, not <laughs> worse than that. Who? He used to work with you and Serica. Oh. You can smell Mickey, his breath right Mickey now. Flanagan. Yeah. Oh, there's a few breaths I can smell right now. Mr. Morgan, the IT teacher from Cardinal Yeah. Like, he had teeth literally like this. Right. And, like, he'd come and, like, he'd be spitting at you as he was teaching you how to do PowerPoint oh. presentations. He's dead now, him. Um, and Noel, who used to run the comedy cafe in London, I can smell his breath right now. If, if like, I could paint you what his breath smells like if you give me a brush. <laughs> Gengar. Did you see Jay, someone message Jamie, DM Jamie about his breath? Jamie Hutchinson? Yeah. You know he gets right in the face of yeah. the person in the front row. Someone was like, mate, you need to sort your breath out. It fucking stinks. Oh. <laughs> Jamie's like, cool, I'm going to reshare this. Oh, I, th I think I did see He's that. He's so funny. Very self-deprecating Jamie, isn't he? I couldn't give a fuck. Um, yeah, let's have a break. I'm going to go and brush my teeth. Hello, everyone. Now it's time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's manscaped.com. And it's summertime, and that means people's bollocks get a lot sweatier than they do in the winter. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, there'll be less sweat, less heat, if you use the Manscaped lawnmower and their performance packages and all the products they offer. Oh. Trim your pubes, trim your face, and look... You don't need to be hot in the summer, okay? It's hot enough. It's already hot out there. Let, let the only thing sizzling be the meat you're putting on your barbecues at your barbecue day that you're having for all your friends and family. Manscaped are our OG sponsors for a reason. They're the best in men's below the belt and above the belt now. Grooming. You can get 20% off and free shipping. What an amazing present to give your hairy, bald loved one. Just the lawnmower 5.0 is an advanced bit of kit, but then it comes in the performance package with all this other good shit. Perfect for, for like nailing that like crisp, clean look on your barbecue and beach days this summer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word 20, 20% 20 off worldwide. Shipping is free. Word 20. Cats don't know about hospices. Uh, sign up to our Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash have word pod. If you enjoy this podcast and you want extra, we have got an exclusive episode that goes out every Wednesday, an hour, an hour and a half of us talking bullshit and some of our best podcasting. You also get early access on video on a Saturday morning on YouTube to the public episodes that the pubes get on a Monday and the Patreon specials. There's about 40, 45 of these bad boys now. Yep. Essentially, a TV show level production. Every month? Every month. And you can see them all as well. If you sign up, you get to watch everything we've ever made for £3. The Red Bull Soapbox uh, was broadcast on Channel 5. It was so weird to see us on TV. They left our interview. So I thought, I thought they're just going to cut our bit out because we're troublemakers. <laughs> but they left our interview in, and they only, they only showed about 10 or 15 of them. I, was, I thought it was interesting. Because we were maybe, classmates. Everyone else is a fucking goth, weren't they? There's a problem. But there's the, people the, watching it going, is that Adam Rowe? Because there was no, like, it wasn't like, this is Adam Rowe. There was featured contestants yeah. where they'd gone, like, gone, how do you know each of the guys? And well, let's see, you're making the... The girl who you made stretch was yeah. one of the featured girls. Yeah. Really? Yeah, she what was like... What the fuck was that? Yeah, she was the one who got interviewed loads and, like, backstage of them building it and stuff. And there was a few of those. They did that, like, a few times. My kids buzzed off watching that. Yeah, it was it's, it was the funnest. So if you want to see the whole yeah, thing play like, out... Who were they? Who's that? I think I recognised the one on the left. That one on the right, ne never met him. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Um, we are going to go to yours, though, soon, aren't we, Dan? Adam's not. <laughs> um, 
the I'll Red Bull soap. I'm standing next time I'm there now. All right, cool. Well, that's a nice response, isn't it? I've never <laughs> met your son. I'll burn him. <laughs> <laughs> More fuck kids. When I meet him, I'll burn him. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a garden party then. <laughs> Time for a barbecue. F1 in no time, mate. <laughs> go and watch Nashville, go and watch Amsterdam, go and watch everything we've ever made. Right Patreon.com slash have a word pod. 27,000 lids cannot be wrong. Let's do some. Where uh, Harv says, wag wag lids. If someone could summon you by throwing three items into a cauldron or some shite, what three items would they need? Ooh. So three things like that. that sort of you feel like embody you a little bit. Let's start with Finn because he looks like he's in a K-hole. What? Uh, you have been very quiet. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about you, Finn. What's happened? You're just right. just got Oasis on the mind. Are you really in an Oasis-based K-hole? Yeah. <laughs> Snap the fuck out of it. You're, you're doing everything right. I had therapy this. yesterday and half the session was talking about that. And she was like, it's getting a bit much now. There's nobody who make me feel like that. Nobody. Oh. So, Are you oh, happy about that oh, or envious? Listen to this. My, ma envious. my mate... My mate phoned me last night. He went, my, my missus is in a mood with me. And I was like, right, why? Because it's my mate that we love Oasis together. And he was like, she, she was just went, what's going on? What, why, are you, why, are you, why are you baiting like this all the time? And he was like, imagine if your mum was still alive or she came back to life. <laughs> this is what I feel. Her mum is dead. It has been for 10 I mean, years. I she was dead if she came right. back to life. He was like, imagine if, my mom, if your mum came back to life. This is what yeah, it's that like That is offensive. I know. And yeah, she played yeah, yeah. Croke Park. That'd be mad, wouldn't it? She's putting in 10, 15 arenas. <laughs> Croke Park. It's, it's a, it's a double yes. header. Adam's yes. mum and Dan's mum. If our mums came back to life, they could do an arena tour. Just for being the first two people since Jesus to be resurrected. Isn't a double header when two girls suck it off? <laughs> no, that's a threesome. Not in comedy, it's no, not. No, that's sex. <laughs> a double header is when you get a blowy off two girls. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. made that up. No, Google that. Yeah. Double oh. header blowjob, Google it. Not the fringe, though. Twins, eh? No, there's a double-headed gig. You're not expecting to get a suck. But I'm saying, yeah, thank yeah. you. Is it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I've never had one. But. Uh, I'll go for a guitar. Oh, God. oh you, you, you're putting a whole guitar. Can you not just put a plectrum in? What, what, why do I have to... I don't know, yeah. Chop right. them, body parts off. I'm putting... Ple plectrum's a ten a penny, Dan. Yeah. But, but guitars, Cheap hard though. to come by. You can't get um, ten for a penny. And then probably a half and half Wales and Turkey scarf. Oh, throw <laughs> you in after it, mate. You're the last one. You fucking pee the fuck. then <laughs> maybe like a, maybe a welcome to real time. Oh, you fucking. That's the bleakest that's list. so miserable. Oh my God, I got so much worse and worse. What sums you up, Finn? Hmm. <laughs> I can't think of my third one. I've got my first two. Cowboy art. Yeah. A pint of Guinness. Yeah. What's the third one? A bicycle. <laughs> Shut up. A picture of yourself. He's not having a bicycle. He's been I on five I'm, bike rides. I'm not self-involved. I just play up to that because you're all fucking idiots. A Guinness, a cowboy art, and what else do you love? A pussy. <laughs> a tiny pink pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little tiny... Ah, it's well known. Adam Rowe loves pink pussy. What is your last one? Um, an NFL jersey or no, a Liverpool well, jersey? I, yeah, I mean, no, because I wouldn't wear that. So I'd say um, an unofficial LFC cap. Signed? No. Oh. Got one of them, haven't <laughs> Like, not from the club shop, from one of the stands outside. Right, okay. Do you not think it'd be like a ticket from someone else's phone because they've sold you one of their tickets? Maybe, yeah. yeah. A bear the phone with a ticket on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be more... <laughs> That is it, though. Yeah. It's it, something about going to match. Guinness and Cowboys. Guinness and a Cowboy out. Mine would be Christmas Nachos, um, Millennium Lube, or any of the incredible alternatives at Love Honey. And well saved. Cocaine. No, it can't be, can it? Because I don't do it. It would summon you, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not allowed to do it. Oh, yeah. So it's pre-workout. These are witches, aren't It's pre-workout. Pre is it a vape? You, that you've been very generous with yourself there. No, it's... I'm a gym head. Pre-workout. No, it's... Uh, what it's, were the other two? If you're not allowed to do cocaine... You want to be a Do pre-workout. Yeah. It's the same. <laughs> Just makes you feel fucking great. You know, Pre-workout. What were the other two? Um, I'll go Christmas nachos, uh, lube, and uh, pre-workout. 
Hawks by hat means. I think that's more likely to summon Antonio Banderas than you. (laughs) (laughs) Clip that bad boy. That was going to take five minutes. Kinder Bueno. I love them. Genuinely, it makes me think of you now, Kinder Bueno. Yeah. Kinder Bueno. Can of Dr. Pepper. And a chat. Just a stamp off and a skidan. No. Kinder Bueno. You can't put the Simpsons in, can you? No. No. Because they're not physical things. But that's synonymous. The yeah, idea of the symptoms into a cauldron. Symptoms. What's yeah. Phoebe Dean? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite series? Oh, no, nah, it's an impossible answer. I can't give you that. Um, I don't know. I don't, am, am I a bit boring? Have I got anything synonymous with me? Or have I just, you know... Serica. Not... Yeah, throw, that would summon me, to be fair. Throw Serica in. Wallace. Serica, Wallace and hair gel. Now it looks bad that I didn't pick my kids or my wife when I picked <laughs> Lube. No, but if someone said to me, I've thrown oh, Serica in a I, I would just summon Carl. Just all his loved ones in a cauldron. <laughs> they would be dead, but it would get in there. He'd be annoyed. Now they're a bit of cop out. You've just got nothing going on, have you? No, or maybe I just haven't made something that I like my personality. <laughs> That's a very nice retort to a cunty statement. It's got nothing going on, though. I've got loads <laughs> going on. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an enigma. I love this. Adam loves doing Careful. this. <laughs> what are you even about? <laughs> Boring. No, what, Boring. What do you, do you know like? what? Even, Why don't you wear what you like? Even if you like something, I've not concentrated enough to give a fuck. <laughs> Boring. He doesn't though. Hey, he doesn't yeah. like anything. Booing. I just boo into the goals. He calls. likes the telly. That's it. He likes TV shows. That's it. Oh, well, not really. Rock what? climbing. Oh yeah. When was the last time we went rock climbing? 2021. What TV shows do I like? The Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's not a TV show. But name it, some it hobbies is. and things that you like. What oh. do you like doing in your spare time? Nothing. Hiding from you? Yeah. I don't know, just being friendly. (laughs) (laughs) I I really want you to get out of this one with a win. See, you're having a go at me. No, But there's nothing there, is there? You don't even like the footy anymore? Because Everton have ground you to a miserable halt. We won last night, though, up the bloody toffees, mate. (laughs) Timothy Burnham's blues going to the top. Against Um, Doncaster Rovers. I I like spending time with people who love Donald, but can't put that in. No. Like that's yeah. So what? What are you doing? Like, let's say you've Come got on, three Carl. days off. We can do this. Let's say next week. I got three days off last week, and they're fucking not right. Exactly. So next week, I'm I'm not here, am I? So there's going to be and you're going to have from Saturday all the way till Tuesday Whoa. off. Yeah, I'd watch the UFC on Saturday night. Oh, right. UFC. But there what can you I put go. The UFC in, can I? You can put a um, glove. Yeah. Yeah. Put tickets to UFC or UFC glove in. Yeah. So there you go. You got that. This big right. guy. There you go. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, what are you doing? <laughs> Sunday? Yeah. It's been a late one. The UFC usually goes till around 6.30. So what time are you getting up? I usually get up around 11. <gasps> up at 11. And then t- take me through your day. I'll get up. Yeah. I'll take Wallace out. Yeah. And then me and Sarah will usually just do, it, do something together. Like? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a lot of people do, Adam. The cinema. We're the cinema. Right. Genuinely, I know you're like... <laughs> This is fucking ridiculous. Stay up watching something. Get up, walk a I'm, dog, hang out with your missus. <laughs> that's what, no, that's no, what a lot of people do. That, that's right? what a lot of people said, do. For, yeah, for, it's it's Sunday hobby day. But that's what I do okay, on a Sunday. Yeah. So cool, fine. So you're just doing something with Serica. So you might yeah. cook something, might watch a film, just yeah. having a chill. Yeah, right. or like we've been skiing a couple of times. You go to the cinema a lot. <laughs> okay, cool. Monday. Monday, she's in work. So so what are you doing? I'm probably in here with you. No, part. you're not. You've got Monday off. It's the school oh, holidays as well. She's off. Well, stay off. Sure. Ah. If Steve was in, I'd come in and spend time with him. But he's off, so you don't want to spend time Steve, with him. Steve, you're going in a room. cauldron, mate. I text him and go, what are you doing? Right. And then he'll go, not on what you want to do. And you're like, ah, I'm in my undies, staying in. That, is, that would be my response, actually. <laughs> yeah. I like people to tell me what to do. I just, I don't know. I, I'm, maybe I'm just boy. an old man who likes... Just... No, it's just, you know, Adam. And this is what Adam wants. Start three hobbies out of resentment for me. <laughs> I skydive. I'm just proving my point. He's just chill. Nothing yeah, going on. Yeah, I just like to relax and see the people I love use and sell yeah. it. No vice. No. Maybe I'm just boring. But I love my life, so it's fine. I think you're Kinder Bueno is your vice, isn't it? Your vice. vice. <laughs> your bison. I love bison. my life, though. Like, I'm so content with my life. So Plus, that's good. Isn't it? Matt LeBlanc. Time for kids. Matt LeBlanc's favourite thing to do is nothing, apparently. It's the, it, who is it who said it? Not but someone LeBlanc. else said it. <laughs> um... <laughs> I saw it the other day and it was like, I think it was uh, Matthew McConaughey. He was like, don't underestimate sitting at home doing nothing. 
I think we can't. Oh, mate, cards. this morning when I felt achy. No, no one's in the house. I would have so loved to just stay on the couch this morning. How much do you love when the kids and Laura are out and you've just got the house? It doesn't happen much, does it? But how good is it when you get it? If it's been busy and I've been working and then I wake up and I'm like a bit tired, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm a bit tired. And Laura goes, just chill out on the couch for a bit and I'll watch a film. Like, a, on, a, like a, on one of our days off, like a Friday morning. Oh, it's so good. I really would have loved to stay and watch the Bourne Ultimatum this morning. Just watch it when you get it. I don't know, maybe I'm boring, but I love my life. By the way, don't feel bad you... about it. I don't, you... but I do, I do like doing things, but it, like, it's- I think the... you do loads of different stuff. The people I do it with, that matters. I think one of your hobbies is being a good couple with Sarah Cam, not even messing. Like, I think you could get into the specifics of the details, but one of the things you do is like work on your relationship. One of the things I do is work on not being a shit dad. It's like, it's not easy to go, what are you into? Cause you're just trying to keep these little fucking suicidal midgets alive and be a good dad and be present. And That's it's a good part, job. it takes part of your fucking existence. What you do with suicidal midgets, security guard? <laughs> That's all parenting. It's like, oh uh, yeah. You, you'll find this one day when you settle down, stop going out drinking and cycling bikes. Hands shit. <laughs> it's not. It's fucking great. I believe you. It's I'd really, be bored out of really, my mind. I don't think you would be. I would. I don't think you would be. I would. No, because uh, who's your best mate and not me? <clears throat> Is it Jack? Probably Jack, yeah. So do you you're just in the room just sitting with Jack? Are you bored? Yeah. A lot of the time. It depends what... Are we literally just sat there doing nothing? No, but you're doing stuff together. You're watching the telly, you're chatting, you're showing you the videos and you're just like... Whatever. You are a pez. bit of a border collie, aren't you? You need to be doing stuff. Yeah. You're not like a yeah like a lazy dog. You're like a yeah. yeah. But, you, a like pug? To, but yeah. you like to sit with me and just do fuck all. <laughs> what? Me and you just watching the telly, or like we used to do. It's great, wasn't it? Totally. I've just found someone else I can do that with. Totally. And I'm happy for you. She's right? got nice <laughs> <tips>. <laughs> no, but I I can only do that for it like. So long. I can't do that like two or three days in a row. No, I can't. It makes me feel sick. So that's what I'm talking about. That's why I said to you, what are you doing Monday? <laughs> I probably, yeah, we probably That's why before when he was like, oh, Adam, this is actually quite normal. I know that's quite normal on a Sunday. That's why I was very accepting of your day. You've had a late night. You're up quite late. Dog for a walk. Day with your missus. I get it. Set it off. Beautiful. I like that. I like it. Class. What are you doing Monday? Because I'm tell i telling you right now, if Monday was the same as Sunday for me, Kayaking. I would want to shoot yeah, myself in the face yeah, with I a hate, gun. Yeah, it made me feel grim. That's the option. The, the cinema or we like shopping, like doing stuff around the house. And <laughs> yeah, we're just, uh, maybe we're 80 years old and we're only 32, but we both love it. We've got a dog and we take him out and it's sick. We love our house and where we live. Great. Maybe I've just realized that I'm an old man, <laughs> but it's, you will find it and go, this is sick. No, I won't. I will never be so you, as uh, boring as this. So you're going to sit there with your partner who you, you found it with and go, do you want to go rock climbing because I'm bored? And they go, no, I'm, we're in. What you do then? You just fuck off. On the second day? No, but I'm... So, we, uh, no, so we've, it, we've, had, we've had Sunday and all day. I've, oh, yeah, I've made a roast. She's done the dishes. That's the dream, by the way. Right? You're giving me a hypothetical. This is not how life works. Going forward... What you do with your days where you're doing nothing? Do you have to do something or can you not just relax? For like the second or third day, I have to do something. Yeah, but that's how rare is it you get two or three days off doing nothing? It doesn't happen. That's not the world. You give me an insane hypothetical. Give me bank holidays, but everyone's busy on bank holidays. I'm saying life. You will just relax with this person and realize you've settled a bit more. You just haven't done it yet. What would you do on that, day two? I'm, I'm telling you right now, this is just a massive difference in our personalities and that is not true. What would you do on day two? Um, we got the gym as well. Together, we go to the gym together, which is good. Great. Um, <laughs> cycling, golf, <laughs> the pub. You've not played as much this summer, have you? What's no, my shoulder hasn't been as good. No. Um, which is really annoying. Is there something, can you get a sports massage for that? I'd love a fucking sports massage. Uh, I've had a few massages re recently as well. That's something else I really like doing. It's just going for a little massage. Oh um, my God. Yes, mate. Um, but I, um, I need surgery. That's what I need for it. And then yeah. it'll be better. It'll never be perfect again, but I, I what need to. What are you doing on a, on a, it's December and it's raining and there's no footy on, but it's, it's this Monday. What are you doing? It's, it's a rainy Monday, day. December. It's the second day though. What do you mean? So the footy isn't on. So Sunday I've like, relaxed. Saturday I've been to the match, Sunday I've re relaxed with me missus. And then Monday it's just like, oh, the weather's a bit shit, isn't it? Uh, I'll go and do a gig or I'll go to the pub. Or... But the pub is just you sharing time with somebody in a different place, isn't it? It's just like totally. Yeah. With booze. Mm. 
an atmosphere and yeah. social. Yeah, I just thought, I th- uh, yeah, I think. If you're know. watching for the first time, these two are best friends <laughs> and have been for ages. This is why we can talk like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I, I've got to, I can't just, I get cabin fever so quickly and I always will. Yeah. Like it's it's just not after the extended periods I'm like I feel shit I need to I get out. I think that'll change, you know, a little bit. I know you've got pretty strong characteristics in that sense. I think when you meet someone, you have kids, being at home with them is gonna feel so much less tedious than also, it seems now. T- totally. And I think if I had children, then yeah. that would that changes everything because then so much of your attention and effort and energy and all of it and. If you know, if you're parenting right and you've got like kids that you love and they're not fucking little gobshites, you're getting a lot of entertainment and stuff back from like doing fuck f- all with the kids is a great way of hanging out. Totally it's fun, yeah. But until they exist, Mondays like th- that thing I said to you on Twitter the other day is so, like you you said this is the most Sundayest Monday, uh, Monday of all time. Boring. Like if you enjoyed a pint and going the pub, if you enjoyed it. Like properly, I know you don't mind it every now and then, but if you enjoyed it that day, you'd have had a better day because you'd have gone to the pub. Yeah, but as I'm saying, <clears throat> I prefer to. I prefer to be with Sarah. Can she just go to the pub? Yeah, but she wasn't there, was she? Yeah, but you said it was a shit day. You tweeted that it was a shit day. No, because it woke up and it felt. Like we still, we still did stuff. Yeah, but you, 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 you said it's the Sundayest Monday of all time, and that it's boring. Yeah, that's what that's what bank holidays are. So what are you putting in the cauldron? <laughs> Adam. <laughs> summon you. Come on. Come on. I don't know. But, but just go back for the last half an hour and see what you think my life is. But I'm very content. Uh, let's do some advice. 18 minutes. That's off one question. Good. That's what we want. It was a good question. Ben likes chilling. But you're going to get potted. That's, that's cheating. Agony. That's not real chilling. That's drug addiction. <laughs> Last week I was waiting for someone in the pub and they were running late. And I had a pint on my own and went on my phone. And that's not even my shouts and old like tweet. That is such a simple pleasure in class. Being in the pub alone. But you're not there alone because that's sad and bleak. Yeah. But like waiting, you're you're in the pub early. Waiting for someone. Waiting for someone. And they're like, oh, I'm going to be 10 minutes late. So you get like half an hour on your own in the pub. But it's totally valid and fair and reasonable. And you're not like, oh. And someone replied to me and said, well, I've started, because I enjoy this so much, and I realised how much I enjoyed it when people were running late, I've started getting to the pub half an hour before I've agreed to meet someone. Oh. So I, I I build it in that I'm early and get to just be, have one pint on my own on my phone. Like, I hate being on the couch on my phone. You know, if I'm in the house now and I'm doing that and I catch myself doing it, I, I want to throw my phone, like, through the wall. I'm like, what the, it's just bleeding my brain dry, but it doesn't feel like... A bad thing when you sat in the pub doing it. <laughs> My favourite pint on holiday, because we went out and got food, I used I I went to the pizza place and I went and collected an Indian. And then because we had a villa, we would take it back and eat <laughs> the food. And uh that pint as you were waiting Come on, for, Raj. as you were waiting for the order to be made. Oh, just a great pint. Yeah. You're just there on your own, pint, got the phone out. I'm there for a reason. I'm not skiving, I'm doing the dad bit. I'm getting everyone's food. I'm a provider, but I get fucking 20 minutes. Being allowed 15, to be on your 15, 20 own minutes. Good. It's great. Like being on your own, it's okay. Like when Selic is in the bath, I'm like, I've just, I can literally just go on my phone and just mess about and do shit. Um, advice from an anonymous lady. Hey, Lids, please keep me anonymous, but I need some advice. Now now that she's anonymous, we get to imagine this woman in our head. Let's give her a lovely pair of tits. Little tight pink pussy as well. <laughs> nice. I can't believe people think we're laddie as a podcast. <laughs> uh, We're just done very weird? deep shit. Isn't it weird? We've got levels, gears. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do fucking people emotions. We do pink pussy. <laughs> we do it all. Well, like an onion on something with levels. A lift. <laughs> a li- well, like Why an not? onion in a lift. This podcast is an onion in a lift. Yeah, levels and layers. <laughs> I recently came home with a small amount of filler. In my lips and chin. He's shaking his head, by the way, today. Th- he's just really not on fucking. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you, are you, are you though? He's literally just sat there going, the Gallagher brothers are Do you just want to be in a queue for, <laughs> a, for Oasis tickets? Do you want to get in the like queue early? I'd like to do that. Do you that think Noel would like this? No. Liam? Yeah. Okay. 
Do you know what I think? I'm honestly, I, I don't mean this in a mean way, but you don't it's going to sound mean. Tickets. It's not that I don't want you to get tickets. I, I want you struggle. to not get them and everyone else get them. Thanks. <laughs> I'll give you my And then quick. no one give him one. And no one give him one. I what? just think it'd be dead funny. Finn, if it wasn't you yeah. and it was someone else, you would think it was funny as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If no, you've got, got no Poe humor about this, I've got no humor tickets. about this. And it, once this is out of the way, I'll be fine. Just give, me, year? give me three days. No, I mean the tickets. Oh, I'm worried for When's you. It Are you actually really anxious about this? Yeah, Saturday yeah. morning, eight o'clock. I'm a bit anxious because uh, I Friday want them. for the pre sale. Oh, God. I'm make, I've make signed sure up for the ballot. Same. I've got, I'm in the ballot. Tony McCarroll. How'd you know? I got an email saying, thank you for being one of the voices. Are you in the, are you in the ballot? You're in the ballot. Because you bought merch and stuff. Previously. Could you get in the room? Do you know what I mean? Come on. The room where it happens. The ballot's not, not started yet. Sorry. Come on, Finn. Sorry. You're all right. Hang on. So we're going to try and get me tickets on Friday. We've applied to be in the ballot. Yeah. yeah and I'm even mad. that doesn't guarantee tickets. Mad out here. Why don't they just do 472 dates? Like the whole country. Like Michael apparently. Jackson. I'd like him to do that. <laughs> do a residency <laughs> at Wembley. If one of them was to get shot, which one would you want it to be? Neither. What are you talking about? No, there's one bully. No, when a man breaks in into the orgy of a range. He's like, right, one of them. Now, Liam. No, now. Uh, it's not Stop Liam. stalling! Uh, it's no, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. If Liam, you don't tell Liam, me right in... Liam. I was about to shoot both of them there. Well done. <laughs> anyway, you're shooting OG. I don't know. It was under pressure. <laughs> no, no, front, man. I just go down and shoot bricks up, bit pop artists in the head. Bit and get top. Bricks up. Bricks up. Right, <laughs> yeah. Hello, lad. Have a good one. Get Do you know what cock? nemesis means, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Can I do this advice? It's my favourite ride, Alton Towers. It's a brick top. Uh, anonymous lady. So thin. Hey, lids. Please keep me anonymous, but I need some advice. I recently came home with a small amount of filler in my lips and chin. This isn't the first time I've done so, and there's never been a reaction before. In fact, previously, he told me he didn't even notice. However, this time, I was berated for half an hour about how ridiculous I look and how he would never want a girlfriend as fake as that. I have asked co-workers, friends, and even my very strict parents, who have all said I look minimally different. We are now... A fortnight on from the initial argument and he still refuses to look at me properly and everything comes back to the new filler I have gotten. I, am I in the wrong for getting it or do we think the relationship maybe is at its end? <laughs> I only started getting filler in the first place because in passing comments he has told me I have a gummy smile and no chin. <laughs> oh my God, oh. break up with this man. <laughs> also, he's allowed to change his face now yeah. and there's no limits. <laughs> yeah. If he wants a second nose, you're fucked now, girl. He can come home one day and just, he looks stupid and he goes, yeah, well. I'd love to see my chin, but just a bit thicker. If someone could like do That's that for me. That's what filler does, you know. All right. Filler makes it and look Do you know more... if you could just see the visual An of a thicker could do chin? It. Well, An artist could do it. Um, no chin's a weird look in it. It is, yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. I think there's, it's called, is it called like Pierre Robin syndrome or something? It's called Pierre No Chin Pierre No Chin Pierre syndrome. No chin syndrome. <laughs> Mate, Big Ed's got it, hasn't he? Uh, Bondy told me about it. He's a dentist. And Big he's... Ed? Have you seen Big Ed? I've seen Big Ed. No, not Mary. Big Ed, the famous fella. Get Big Ed up. No, I want to find out what the No Chin Syndrome is. He's got it. No. He's... A Big Ed and No Chin. No, it's Pierre name is... Noonan. Oh, it is Pierre. I fucking no Chin. Pierre. Pierre No Chin. Um, Google Big Ed, as in like ED. What water on the brain? No, big head. Big what? Big head. Ed. E D. The oh, name. Big head. Oh, big head. Fucking it's stupid. You say head. There he is. Look, he's got a chin. Oh, Finn. Has he got a chin? No. I know who Big Head is. <laughs> he's got Clipple Fail syndrome. <laughs> what? Clipple Fail. <laughs> Have you subtitled it? I can't. We don't know what he looks like. <laughs> this Clipple Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the telly on, then. You got the remote. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Right, Telly's right. do work like that. It's not gonna come up. I know what's gonna come up. Oh, him. <laughs> no, that's not. It, it's just on YouTube. I know why. Show us. Show us, big I, head. I'm on. I've I've connected to the telly, so you need to get off YouTube. We are off YouTube. Oh, this so. is retarded. Oh, I've put it Dan. On. Dan. We'll just cut it out. Can you see him? Just us arguing no. about a fucking TV. This guy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh big, big head. head. <laughs> From 90 Minute Fiancé. Yeah. What's it called? 90 Day Fiancé. That's it. Turn I do up. think it's uh, a... I do think it's a bit mad when people just start changing their face and stuff without consulting their partner in a long-term relationship. But 
if you, you, it's your decision at the end of the day, and if he hates it, then you shouldn't be together. And he well, sounds we, like a rude man, a rude boy. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm a, like Laura mentioned about getting filler, and I'm a, I was against it, and then. I've someone messaged me and went, oh, look, I've got a bit of filler and it looks normal and that's fine. My head's gone to the extreme of like- Jackie Stallone. Yeah, it's hard not to go to the, I've got a shellfish allergy sort of visual. Yeah. Um, I'm not into it, me. I just don't know. I'm not into it. Um, I would never- He sounds like a to bad be gimp though. Yeah, he sounds like a gobshite. It's so common now though. Like, I reckon it's like genuinely like one in two girls of a certain age has got it now. I think it's more than that. Do you reckon, yeah? Yeah. Really? I think under 30, I reckon two thirds to three quarters of women have got filler. No. I, I In honestly Liverpool? Think, In Liverpool, I'd say so, yeah. That I, I'd say across the UK. It's so normal. That's and if your friends have got it and everyone you see has got it, then why would you? You've got, you like, you, most of it is so subtle that you'd never, right, yeah, yeah. like, it's, gen, it, it's, more. Well, it's well more than one and two. It's, it's like the more. Bill Burr bit, innit? You're not just gonna yeah. fucking. Yeah, yeah like you start and then it's uh, just no get one gets one, one it's well. like tattoos you get one and then you want more yeah that's the bill baby i was like, earlier I, i'm just gonna get this done and this. oh yeah you're just gonna get the hood on your car waxed like yeah it, you're gonna do everything i'm not into it i think just you know 24 percent of women admitted to it yeah you're forgetting about all the liars secret stories <laughs> there's another 50 percent that are liars um, women I'm, I, like yeah I mean do do you and I'd never get with a girl who had it and then start kicking off but if a girl I was with got it I'd be like oh I'm not massively into that mate an anonymous lady find someone who thinks you're great man well, he sounds you awful, do what man. you want with your fucking face as long as you don't look daft but you know, why are people with people who are just fucking shit be with someone who's like hey you're great you that's like nagging and it's like weird abuse why would you say that to someone like that like do you want to be with someone who just wants to bum your head in all the time because they think you're great yeah <laughs> I, I sometimes I see Laura and she's like doing the washing up and I'm like, oh, it's still smash. It's she great. great and all day. She doesn't look always great washing up, you know, but to me she does. That's what I see. She looked great in the pictures. The private ones I sent you. No, the ones she sent me. <laughs> oh, right. Nice. Nice. In my shower, washing me car. <laughs> yeah, she takes pictures. On all of these. God, that's, that's, I think she's gone past a line there. This is that's from, the line. That's the line. Well, she's got, oh, everyone not, needs a clean cock. I was a Stick it online. God. Um, this is from an anonymous lady. Need some advice, Lids. Been with my fiance for over seven years now. For the past year or so, I've had genuine fantasies about having a threesome with my fella and his lifelong best mate. Like every time we have sex, I'm thinking about it being a threesome. How can I bring this up to him? Or do I just suppress this forever? Love the pod from Serica. Well, there's... <laughs> 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 me and my partner just don't do much you know like on the second day <laughs> just not going anywhere the first day is fine I, there's only one person here who can uh, sort of talk about this and it's you what would you do if Serica brought this up you're the one to give this girl advice could Serica bring this up to you it cost me so much money because we've already paid for the wedding but <laughs> no if Serica said I want to fuck somebody else and it just so happens no it's your best, best mate, mate. It's, not any, it's not anyone else no. it's very specifically I'd Adam go, Rowusty. I go. What? What? Why do you just fancy Adam? I go. She's is that like, it? no. I still want you there. No, no, no. I know that, but I'm saying, if she, if she thought you were an ogre, she wouldn't want it, would she? I'd be like, clearly you've got feelings for Adam then. No, but it's not feelings. What? Like, I go it's marry him. You oh, you bitch. No, she doesn't want to marry me. She wants to marry you. She's just Can't. lusting for me. Such a basic bitch. I was joking. Damn it. Yeah. No, she's just lusting he, for me. He's, she's only human. Yeah. Okay, then what? She what sees what, him. What if Laura wants to fucking smoke Bondi off? Yeah, it's not easy, is it? No. Yeah, it's not easy. No. Oh, give me that big Bondy cock. I would rather she went, hey, can we can we bonk a random? I would rather that. I would rather, obviously. Yeah. Would you, yeah? Yes. A hundred percent. You'd rather it be a random man? That we got to agree on. It's not like we'll do a little lotto, see who's on the street. Oh, it's number 16. Jeff. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not a surprise. I'm just, there, I, I, my, like, I just don't want my future wife having sex with other men. That is me. No, but like, this is what we're saying is, if it was going to happen, why do you want it to be a random man and not me? Because that random man would never be in my life ever again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, you don't have to podcast with him twice a week. Yeah, totally. But like, sh like, isn't it better that you know it's someone who's going to care about both of you? Both <laughs> what are you doing to me? What? Don't go making sure you're having a good me. time. I'm doing that myself. Face bumping you. I know which hand you like. Oh. All right, lad. Fist bump, hey, this is what I'm talking about. You got a new hobby. 
three ways. Sunday, that sound, take the dog out, chill out. Mondays, we both fuck Serica. It's class. Class, lad. Dan, would you Eiffel Tower Laura with Bondi? Is that in your head now? <laughs> I'm telling you this Bondi's right now. My, <laughs> Bondi's, Bondi's my oldest best mate. I think he might be in the league. You know, you've got mates who you're close with. He'd be up there. Barry Dodds. No, he <laughs> Barry is below. Oh, oh, oh no. Whoa, do you know where there's parking? Yeah, Barry, oh, it's my house. I'm put it on the drive. Yeah, in ectoplasm. Oh, parking your ass. Jesus. Barry's so far down. Oh my God. What do you mean Bondi's high up? Like he's in, you'd he's want him. He's chilled out. He's just chilled. What does that he, mean? So that's better. He's just, he's just, he's so, socially awkward enough that I don't think he'd ever mention it again. He'd what just if he's like put it in, in a place. Sheets? He can compartmentalize. No. It's just a random, I'd rather pick a random homeless. Oh man. no, I would. Uh, no, no, homeless, you've gone. That's wrong. <laughs> no, random, no. no. Because then he just disappears into the ether, then he doesn't He's even... in your bins. Yeah, if you did it with a random man, both of you, would you want them to do a good job? Or no. would you want her to just be like, that was shit, it's better with you? Put it on the fairway. Yeah. I don't want this. You don't want to like, like square it all over the place. Oh, I never knew it could be like this. Weaponize no, that incompetence, don't do it. You don't want to square it and so hard that it's the ceiling. Be shit. No, be I awful. Don't. <laughs> I don't. If she squirted at all, it'd hurt my feelings. I'm like, where's this been? But it is, as I've always said, you know, <laughs> the happiness of the world has gone up. And I'm always talking about collective happiness. Like I said, if so, what? Have a threesome with a homeless guy? <laughs> yeah. What are you always saying? You've literally never said that ever. I have. It's no, like you've, if, Carl. That is not your mantra. I have. I, I'm I always have, saying I? on this podcast, huh? the happiness of the world has gone up. Like Suck if off someone a steals guy. your bike that you didn't really care about and they love it, the happiness has gone up in the world, even though a bad thing happened. Maybe they would steal my bike. You know what I mean? But mm. if if she gets walloped by a homeless guy, mm. your sadness won't be matched by his insane ecstasy. So you know. On average, the utilitarianism happens. share out the yeah, okay. yeah, 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 the heaviness, the calculus. A, fr a friend of mine did this. They're they're in a long term relationship. They're still with their partner. A couple of years ago, he said to her, uh, "My my friend's the girl. That's sexy." He said to her, uh, "I want you to go out and get fucked by someone else." Ah, uh, they all cook old. Yeah, film it and then send it me. I mean, and it's... they're still together and they're they're fine. Yeah. I was just amazed by that. Of course they're fine. She got walloped, then he got to have his seedy little fucking fancy. Because he's attracted to her, so he wants to watch her have sex. And then she comes back, tells her, tells him all about it, and then he reclaims her. I'm really into cook all porn. I really like it. I don't he know what. He reclaims her? He bonks her and he's like, you're oh, mine, Oh, yeah, but you? you're mine, aren't you? Yeah, and she goes, I, I am. Apart from an hour ago, then I wasn't. But you know what? I'm back now because you pay the council tax. <laughs> Sexy. Who wrote this script? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but he's homeless. He wouldn't have any consoles. Oh, sorry. This isn't important. This isn't in real life. Oh, God. Keep would you, going. Would I you, want bifold. Would you cook old? What? Would you be into that yourself? Yeah. Love to. I'm dying for Laura to get out more. Yeah. Who are you meeting down the allotment? Bondi. There you go. Yeah, I'd love to, yeah. It's no, shit. I don't think it's... I don't, Especially it's, not the mother that your kids. Mm, but I don't... But you you always just apply your... I, I get it. That's what everyone does. No, some people can empathise better than it seems you can. I just whenever don't you to do, fuck me wife. whenever you do this, you go, "This is insane. I don't like it. I can't even imagine how anyone would." Like I just know I, where the comedy lies. What? I just know where the comedy lies. What? Shutting everything down because you don't like it. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We've got a bit of advice in. No, I wouldn't. That sounds awful. I know where the comedy lies. <laughs> Let's have a break. No, I. Of course, I'm not into it. It's not. But if Laura came and she was like, "I'm. I don't know. It'd be." If she was really into it, but it's just so alien to what the couple that we are. But I am a perv. I think I'm a theoretical perv. I could be so much more pervy than I am. I can see you being into like I golden don't, and dog. And I that. don't think I'd be as bothered as... No, I can see you being less. I just don't. I think people obsess about like ownership and like, you're mine. This, as I get older, I'm like, what a load of nonsense. Marxism. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You say that, but I know for a fact, Jack Finnegan asked to lend your pressure washer last week and you said, no, I'll come and do it myself <laughs> to our garden. You are? Same. You're like, no, that's mine. Don't trust you. No, that's my pressure not washer. what I said at all. I went, no, have I you know. got an outside tap? And he went, no. I went, right, cool. We don't have to get around that. Because I can lend him the pressure washer, but if you can't plug it in, it's just you going, and doing nothing. Now that We've I'm already lying. been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't working. We're actually going to need some water. Jack was like, uh, Jack and Darren London's pressure washing. If I asked him, I was like, he was like, I just want to do that outside a bit. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure. Like, just drop him a text. And Jack went, oh, Dan's just going to come and 
do it. He said he's going to do Carl's as well. And I was like, that is definitely Dan being really protective of his prize. Yeah, because we would snap it after one minute. Yeah, I really do like that K7. And I don't want you to break it. I, weirdly, <laughs> but you don't think I would rather, my wife. I would don't rather touch Laura the Jeff. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Finnegan's like, hey, Dan, can I borrow a Laura for the afternoon? Not a problem, lad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really love that Laura. Don't break her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, if we're cook holding, it's not with Jack Finnegan. Oh, God. But you wanted to have fun because you do that. What? You wanted to have fun, surely. With my next wife. We'll see. Right. Um, do you have, have a break? You should both break. call your partners. Yeah, you I, need, I need to speak to my wife. I'm so sorry, babe. Now then, ladies and gents, time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's NordVPN. Favourite sponsor? Love well, That's good, that. Because like, when they first came on board, you were like, I don't even know what a VPN is. And now they're your favourite sponsor. I thought they were brand new. Sorry. What's a VPN? What's a VPN? Yeah. Uh, it's a way to up your internet security and also to change the location that your laptop or computer thinks it's in. Oh, <laughs> so you could watch Netflix in Botswana. Yeah, but... You could watch it in the UK and just like, have your laptop think it's in Botswana. Oh, you don't so have to you go to, to Botswana. Botswana and Netflix. Ah, yeah, that's it's mistake. like a digital I've, travel thing. I've you been know wasting I mean? money on flights to Botswana. And they've got, we've got an offer for our listeners. If you go to nordvpncom slash have a word, you get an extra four months when you sign up for the two year plan and twenty gigabytes of eSIM data. So what you can go if you go on holiday, you know, like so often you can get like charged for using your phone abroad, like in Botswana. They, yeah, if you go physically to Botswana, yeah, yeah. then they'll give you 20 gigabytes to use while you're on your holidays. <laughs> Amazing. Can you need VPNs in your life? Better security, and there's loads of films on all the different streaming platforms that are limited to certain countries. Find out what country that they're showing you filming and just sign up and then be like, oh, I'll use my NordVPN. And here we are. We're in Mozambique. NordVPN.com slash have a word. Go and watch Madagascar in Madagascar, but from the comfort of your nan's living room. Oh my God, yes. Steph Dag's here. Whoa. Oh, did I pronounce that right? Is it Dag? Dag, yeah. Dag. Dagostini. Oh, wow. Is the long version, yeah. The, the real version. The real version, Do yeah. you like oh. Dags? Mm hmm. <laughs> what? Do you like Dags? Do I like, oh, from the movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Can I ask uh, you a question? Sure. Are we? a bit much you know it's like her for like her first mm. meeting because i've met gabby a few times now yeah and it's the first time we've met we haven't even spoke this right, right, right. in by someone else mm -hmm. and like very happy to have you here i've watched mm -hmm. loads of your clips think you're class you. Thank but you. i've just like i had a moment there where me and carl <laughs> were being me and carl where i was just like i wonder if this if i was sat there would be a bit much I come from a broken home, so this feels very comfortable for me. <laughs> just sort of lots of shouting, dishes breaking. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from New Bro Jersey. The, is that like? Do you guys know about New Jersey? It's like Italian. It's like Italian. There's a lot of opioids. It's a good time. So smack at Italians. It's, it's broken. Yeah. yeah. Loud. Yeah. Yeah. So like, this feels good. Like if if there was a fight at the family home, would like plates be getting smashed on the wall? Hundred percent. So a bit Greek as well. That was my that was my childhood. Would really? you say, so now I'm a comedian. Would what? you say your dad was a bit like Tony Soprano? I would say my dad was like Tony Soprano if Tony Soprano was like a giant pussy. <laughs> Not a tiny little pink one. Giant. <laughs> yeah, because because he is like kind of fat Italian guy, but he's like very soft, like almost like theatrical version okay. of Tony Soprano. So maybe he's more like James Gandolfini. Actually, yeah, so he's an actor where you can play if he wanted to. He could. Yeah, mean, yeah, but yeah. He isn't mean. Is that exactly. what he did? Was he an actor? No, no, no. My dad uh, was like a carpenter, and now uh, he's like a AA meeting uh, person. An alcoholic. An alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> an AA meeting. Person. He's an alcoholic. Uh, recovered, recovered. But you got to wants... be an impressive alcoholic if you can go full time with it. If you can go full time, yeah. <laughs> he's given up his job to do AA meetings. Well, I don't know if he gave up his job or if his uh, job gave up yeah, him. You know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, he runs AA meetings now. Oh, he sober. runs them. Yeah, yeah, he runs them. He's sober. I like to say he's a church going man because he spends all his time in church basements because that's where they hold AA meetings, you know. Is it? Yeah. That's where all the wine is, isn't it? Yeah. Clever. <laughs> 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 <Love it. laughs> Fuck, he's still drinking, isn't he? <laughs> was, was he an alcoholic and he stopped and then did that? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he's been sober for like four years now. Wow. Yeah, oh, you're so not allowed to drink and then start loads of AA meetings. <laughs> no, that's, no, no. Fr that's frowned upon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These <laughs> nubbits. The sign up fee. No, but like, surely, like, 
you like to run it, Amy. You don't have to be sober. Yeah, yeah, you do. You, do. Yeah, yeah, you, you do. have to. You have to have gone through all the steps to yeah. then become an AA leader. But who's keeping track of that? Just you can't do like them. DIY like <laughs> AA meetings. Sorry, everyone, late for the meeting. <laughs> just had a few down the local. <laughs> anyway, still sober. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's fine. You got to lead by example, haven't you? I guess it's like you know people say if you can't. Um, if Simon you can't Cowell do it, can't teach, teach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those yeah. who don't do teach. If you can't, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like that. Yeah, but it's not like that because he has to do it. Well, yeah, but that's what he's saying is yeah. that potentially. Simon Cowell doesn't sing, does he? But he knows you can. Yeah, Maybe yeah. your dad's still a pisser, but like he knows that how to get people sober. By the way, we're on. The, you guys are just trying to convince you my dad's still drinking. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not drinking. Well, mine is, and my mum drank herself to death. <laughs> so so I feel like, like it's, it's yeah, yeah. You shouldn't like, don't drink. Don't drink. excess. Don't drink. Be, it'd be better if you ran the AA meeting and you were still a pisshead, right? And then your like team, like your squad, your like customers, yeah, yeah. they they were <laughs> they were doing yes. so well that it convinced you to stop. That's a better way to do it. Maybe that they should be ran by people. Like they're so horrified by how much of a drunk you are that they get sober. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Lead by anti example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Just I come think... in covered in your own shite. <laughs> Stinking of alcohol, cigarette burns all over the but place. But they're already doing that as the people in the AA <laughs> meetings. They're already the example that is bad. You know what I mean? Do you have to be, and uh, you might not know the answer to this, do you have to be sober to go to AA? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're mm. one day sober, aren't you? That's the start of sobriety. I don't think it? they'll let I, you turn up pissed. That's what I'm asking. Can you turn up pissed and be like, I'm fucked? You can be hungover. Go. Right. And one day go sober. drunk though, because they're like, you're I'm, not even trying. Surely people have gone drunk though under the radar. And then what did they do? Say no, get out. <laughs> well, well, no, because I don't. Th I think it's about. I don't think you have to be sober. I think you're just on. You're exploring sobriety. You're on the path to sobriety. Yeah. So. But if you turn up pissed, I imagine <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, frowned yeah. upon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Can you? Can everyone tell me a, a story about the, your lowest point this, this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's gonna be frowned upon. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you're allowed to go drunk. I think you'd have to be at least like trying to start because it's a class, isn't it? You're not going to what? Do they still give the chips? The uh, snacks? No. The <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> goes for the buffet. Oh, the, the sobriety chips. Twenty day yeah. chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chopping again. <laughs> Someone told me that when you get to ninety days, it's like a really big deal. Like they like everyone cheers and like claps. So my friend says that every time she goes, she just says it's her ninetieth day, so that they just like really give her a big like standing ovation. Is she a comedian? No. She sounds like one. She goes She's to the same meeting because surely that would be. I think she goes to different meetings right, and okay. is like it's it's my ninetieth, and everyone's like wow. Oh, Has she ever seen which Fight I get. Club? Has she seen Fight Club? She sounds like Helena Bonham Carter, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's usually. But like ones. 90 days does make that's three months, isn't it? That's like yeah. a good. I guess uh, that's when you like break a habit, I think. Yeah, totally. Like, because like anyone does like a month. Alcoholics can do like. Are you but if you're sat there going, I've just hit 10 years, you're like, never mind that. She's on 90 days. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah, but yeah. the first they do, 90 they days do is do probably that. harder than the 10th yeah. year. Yeah, maybe. It probably is. It do you know what I mean? Be. Like uh, 10 years in, you, you're probably done with it. Habit broke. 90 days in is really hard. So, like anything under 40 is like, that's just so not even length. If you're an alcoholic and you're 10 years in, we don't care. <laughs> We're <laughs> not impressed. Sure, it, no Have a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've <laughs> 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 a drink in 10 years. Uh, I'm only four and celebrate. Do you reckon if you'd had one, you'd go back to it? Even after 10 it years. It depends on how dependent you were on it and your personality. Like Spencer Matthews, you know, from Maiden Chelsea, yeah. who's just ran 30, 30 marathons. marathons in 30 days in the desert. Well, Jesus. Before. Well, he, he looks holder. skinny as well. He yeah. also looks like he's got a hernia. Um, he bad. got to a point with alcohol that it was really negatively affecting his life and was like, oh, I've got a drinking problem and I need to stop. But now he drinks occasionally. And some people do that because they want to sort of own the control of it. They're like, oh, I can have a drink and then prove to myself that I don't spiral again. They're like, not it, floodgate alcoholics. That, yeah. Like the ones who are like, if you have a bit, that's it. It's three days lost. You can't stop. You but can't like not if you have a second one. Opened a bottle of vodka in the room that my mum was in. She'd have just reverted. Like she's, well, she did several times. Like yeah. My mum went through rehab like a handful of times and then just kept going back. Yeah. I've just not got an addictive personality at all. What? I just haven't got an addictive person. I just can't even perceive being that reliant on something. Yeah, I, I think it's very easy to say I have, but I don't think I've got an addictive personality at all. I just love pints, and it's not the same thing. <laughs> I, think that's what your mom I feel said. like alcoholism is cultural here. Oh, 100%. Like it is just like part of the 
vibe of this country. <laughs> there, there's a, I forget the sort. There's a really old school comic who said, um, I think they're American and they're like, or maybe they're British. He's like, so I went to America and uh, they're like, oh, you're an alcoholic. And I was like, well, back home, I'm just normal. And then yeah. I went to Ireland and they called me a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a really like good, like old one-liner joke, but I it said, definitely is a cultural It's like thing. contextual. We drink for every reason. If you give us one emotion, yeah. Do we all, if someone's dead, we all have a drink. Yeah. Any occasion. If someone's got married, we'll have like. Right. It's sure, if you just similar. got sober for 10 years, yeah, yeah. you'll have a drink. That must be similar yeah. in the States though. Like al alcohol's attached to a lot of alcohol, stuff. Alcohol, I think is, it's crazy how normal it is in ev like in everyone's lives. Like society kind of functions around alcohol yeah. in a weird way. What's, totally. your, what's your vice? If you were, I, know, I know you're not in like rehab for something, but if something was going to get you in rehab, what's the... Boys. What's your weapon of choice? <laughs> oh, the dick. <laughs> not, no, 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 no. Not even She's dick. She's 10 just years like off the dick. The emotional, like, <laughs> ugh, like I love like being obsessed with boys, you know? Is that what you're like? But not even sex. So you're like, you're like lost. In the I chase. love having crushes. You're like chasing in the feeling. Yeah. Do you, are you like a, a sort of 90 day fiance type person? You get 90 days in and you're like bored of you. Next new thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been in a lot of long distance relationships that started because I met a guy on vacation <laughs> and then I like, I almost moved to Sweden for a guy. I was converting to Orthodox Judaism for another guy. <laughs> I... You've got to be good at sex to make someone convert to Orthodox Judaism. Like he's <sighs> he, got to be He a had good a really good mustache and his parents owned a vibrator company. Cool. He wasn't religious at all, by the way. He just wanted me to convert Orthodox. Well, Adam's got wow. a nice mustache and we're sponsored by a vibrator company. <laughs> so. Welcome to the show. <laughs> That's met, where did you meet him? I met him when I was like 23 and I moved to LA to be with him, even though he had already broken up with me. And um, <laughs> then we, we got back together. He told me I had to be Jewish. So I was like, done, <laughs> done easy. I've done worse. And then, uh, and then he was like, no, it has to be Orthodox. Cause if you convert reform, it's really easy. You get like a lesbian rabbi, they're very chill. But he wanted me, I think he thought that I was gonna be like, no, that's crazy, but I'm crazy. So I was like, done, let's do it. <laughs> and he was like, fuck. Yeah, he's literally texting us boys. How do I get rid of this yeah, girl? He's, he's like, like, tell us she's gotta be an Orthodox yes. Jew. Good idea. Yeah, and yeah. you're like, fucking sapping me up, mate. Yeah, she, yeah I'm like he, looking for wigs. I'm she's like, already at the good synagogue. On me. What would you have to change if you? Uh, wig. I'd have to go to synagogue twice a day. Where are they at? Um, no, no, not the women don't get to wear the hats. The women they don't, don't get to get do anything to fun. The, <laughs> <laughs> the women do all the boring shit. Uh, yeah, his family didn't care at all. His family was like, why are you making her convert, convert Orthodox? That's crazy. And he was like, I just thought it would get rid of her. Yeah. <laughs> so and what, why did you break up? What, did you not do it? He still broke up with me. And now he's dating like a Catholic blonde girl. Not better though. So what was your original religion? I I have none. My mom's from communist Yugoslavia. No religion. Oh really? Yeah. There's no religion in Yugoslavia. Yeah, there is. <laughs> there well, is. Now, now there. Well, there was. famously there is. Yeah, yeah. They had a bit of a good to do about that. Yeah. <laughs> bit of a genocide. Exist anymore, does it? Yeah. What happened? It's not Croatia, the, doesn't the, it? You know the the Balkan left. wars. Yeah. Kosovo, well, pretty big one in the Bosnia Herzegovina, all of that. The Yugoslavia broke up, and there was a you know a bit of genocide. It was a really bad breakup. Serbia, yeah, you know, they all just went. Oh, we're gonna have to go elsewhere. Slobodan Milosevic. But but what's his name? Tito was like an anti-religion. Jackson, communist. <laughs> Tito Jackson was the leader of Yugoslavia. I don't know what he was doing. He kept it together, man, with music. Who's Tito Jackson? From the Jackson what? Five. One of the Jackson Five? How I do don't... you know the other Tito and not that Tito? <laughs> I, I only know Michael Jackson. I don't know the other four. Randy. Jermaine. Janice. And the other one? Never heard of these Janet people Jackson. Life. I know Janet. Vincent. She wasn't in the Jackson Five. Tito sure. Jackson. They were all boys. Samuel L. We've been through this before. <laughs> Was it Tito, Randy, Jermaine, Michael? The other one. It's How do you guys know this? What do you mean? We're big the Jackson Five. Famous. People. The Jackson Five are like the most famous band of all time. What are you talking? It's a crazy Marlon. thing to say. It's Marlon. Marlon Jackson. Marlon. Marlon. What do you? What do you, you mean? You think they're bigger than like the Rolling Stones? Like the at Beatles the time. in Yugoslavia? Oh. <laughs> no, but they're up, they're, they're up there though, aren't they? In the conversation. Think, you don't think Michael, they're not in my conversation. Do you think Michael Jackson's one of the biggest pop stars ever? He is yes. the biggest pop yeah, star yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he came from the Jackson 5. Yeah, but that's like saying Destiny's Child is huge because Beyonce was huge. Fact. Fact. Yeah, one, 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 one Direction no, 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 but Beyonce, and Harry Styles. Yeah, One Direction and Harry Styles. 
Yeah, but these these solo acts surpass the band that oh, they came from. Yeah, yeah a hundred percent. Jackson Five. I mean, that was also so long ago. What about rocking around the Christmas tree? <laughs> Is that That's him? the Jackson Five. And this is can't it. be. Yeah. That, I think so. Where's this come from? What do you mean? This I passion. This passion. passion. ABC. Seth, we have Banger. never really talked about the Jackson Five before. <laughs> Maybe once in you five would think years. You've talked about it every episode. Steph, this is a Jackson Five podcast. <laughs> do the research. <laughs> do you not know that? You guys songs? have modeled this your studio. Is, on Adam, Adam, it's Rock and Robin, but it was close. Rock you know what Robin. I mean? Do all ABC, I know is ABC. That's all I know. I want you back. I want you back. Who's loving you? I'll be there. That one. Yeah. How old I want you, you know I want you back. <laughs> I'm 18 plus. You know I want you back. That's I know that song. one. Yeah. No, I'm 29. Who's loving you? That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, banger. That's probably their best one, I think. Underrated. We love the Jackson. They're about to go on tour next year. <laughs> They're getting back on together. Fire the Jacksons it. played the docks yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Tito won. Jack was taking Liverpool. pictures of them. Tito. Jack Jackson. Yeah. Jack Finnegan, who will be here in 20 minutes time. Took a picture of Tito Jackson playing the trombone three days ago. Fact. Over there. He was on the docks in Liverpool. They should open for Oasis when they go back on tour. (laughs) They were brilliant, apparently. They were doing all the classics, all four of them. (laughs) Rock and Robin in August. (laughs) Robin around the Christmas tree. (laughs) Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Snakes on a plane. All of the classics. They just do their Christmas albums. They just played Snakes on a plane. (laughs) Pulp Pulp Fiction on. Ah, Sam's in this. So anyway, back to the Balkan War. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hang on, that deserves it. So are you are you half Croatian? Is that what you'd say, or would you no, say half Yugoslavian? It's yeah. So my no, mom, it's though. very confusing because my mom was born in Bosnia, okay, Yugoslavia, but we're not a Muslim, so we're I guess ethnically Serbian. Okay. But then I did a 23 in me and it said we were Croatian as well. But if you ask my grandma, she's like, we are not Croatian, we are Serbian. Okay. So it's very tense. So I just like to say I'm Yugoslavian. Because the... that country doesn't exist you anymore. You can't prove it. It's not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah half yeah. Yugoslavian and, and your I, dad is Italian. My dad's Italian-American. And I spent all my summers in Croatia. I would go to Croatia for three months every summer growing up. And that's like my first language that I learned alongside English. Cool. Yeah. That was a cool mixture. Could you teach us some Croatian? Yeah. Yebem uh, ti mater is like, mm, fuck your, your mom. Your bitch, yeah. Yebem ti mater. Yebem ti mater. I loved Croatia when I went. I went to Split. Yeah, it's awesome, right? So good. And like yeah. the, the little island tour of Havar and Havar. all that. Did you go to Hula Hula Beach Club? Probably. Well, how old were you? Last year. 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was three, three years ago. I went with Gabby and our friends. It's like fuck island. Like you go there and everyone fucks on that island. And where's that again? <laughs> Havar. 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 Hula Hula Beach Hitch Club. Everyone I, just Oh, fuck. I want to gatekeep it, but actually all the Brits have already run it over. But you go there and you will, no, you surely will get an STD. No, We're still... We're no, still no, like, no. obsessed with Spain and Turkey. And no, stuff. no, no. It's all Brits and Americans even now. I just went before I came here. But is it like the cooler sort of? No, no it's, it's gone. British teenagers. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's cheap as well, isn't it? Not, no. Cocktails are $25. What? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they switched over to the Euro a few years ago and it's ruined the whole thing. It's ruined the operation. Oh, I went to Croatia a few years back and it was cheap. Yeah, but it was like a when it was still the Kuna. It's the place it was be. in 1938. So it was really. Yeah, when I went, yeah. it was the Kuna. I didn't know they changed. You went when during went, the war. Was, was yeah. You were like, no one was going for <laughs> some <fun>. reason. Easy. <laughs> I remember this 30th to Yugoslavia. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the sad thing is? <laughs> I have been to Yugoslavia. <laughs> What? You mean to a country that doesn't exist I anymore? Been, I have went you? To, yeah, I went skiing in Yugoslavia in the late 80s. No! How old are you? I am 403. <laughs> um, I My first ever skiing holiday was when my dad got in skiing and he couldn't really afford to go good skiing. And I think they worked out that, you know, about to be war-torn Yugoslavia yeah. was pretty discount. Yeah. So we went skiing in Yugoslavia. Right. It's like going skiing in the West Bank now. You're like, let's go. It'll be cheap. (laughs) It's easy. (laughs) So I have been to to Tito's Yugoslavia. You've been somewhere that doesn't exist. Yeah. That's fucking mad. So you went there every summer? Yeah, every summer. Mm -hmm. And we we got on on our research doc, you studied abroad as well. So you well-traveled. Argentina. I said, yeah, it's so crazy that you guys know that. It's mad, isn't it? That's weird. So Harry in the corner. <laughs> Our own little Richard Osman. You are stuff. in charge of the subreddits that I'm on. I feel like <laughs> it's you writing the post. Why Argentina? Uh, boys. What? Boys. Well, always boys are part of the equation. Um, but I don't know. 
my that's where somebody I knew went and they told me it was cool and I was sick of going to Europe. So I was like, what did you study? Uh, awareness and troublemaking. Yeah. Well, I don't even need to answer my own questions since we have. <laughs> Which, isn't it troublemaking? Troublemaking was my major. Is it like what? practical or is it? This like feels very research. much like a Liverpool Hope Uni style move. I, <laughs> shit, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to Buenos Aires Tech? What? No, no, no. So I went to NYU, but I went to a school at NYU. That sounds so cool, but it, I don't know if it is. No, it's obviously not. Oh. Um, and and you make up your own major, and so I called mine awareness and troublemaking, but it was just like political satire. I wanted to be like a comedy activist. And what you do now? This, <laughs> a lot of this, just any sort of talking about the major. Any activism in your comedy? No. No? No, no, no. So at what point did you get rid of the activism and just focus on the comedy? Immediately the second I graduated. That's fair enough. So what you do, what, yeah. what's that course entail? What you do? Huh? What do you do? What's troublemaking? Well, in my head, it was like causing a ruckus, you know, like ruffling feathers in the establishment. This is when I really had hope that I could like change the world, you know. And now I just, I feel like my comedy makes the world a worse place, potentially. Yeah, but it sells, doesn't it? But it sells. Money, 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 money. No, there's no money in comedy also, so. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash have a word pod. Never mind. And now a word from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go to Argentina, but basically just because I got told that the cocaine there was unbelievable. I probably wouldn't come back from Argentina. Yeah. It was $7 a gram. No. What? I guess that's, that's like why I went. 50 as well, isn't it? Oh, I know. And it's like, it's like a farmer's market straight from the source. But the, so there was like a place you go to buy cocaine there. It was like a door and you would knock on the door and then you'd open it and people with guns would, would be there with like full rifles and machine guns and they'd hand you like a little bag and you're just like a girl like, Hi. And the last day it was a setup. So the police set up because the police know about it and they set up the guys with the guns. And so the kids from my program who went to buy cocaine got arrested, but then they just paid off the police a hundred dollars and got out. Yes, mate. I love South America. Yeah. It sounds yeah. so great. What? It's pretty rock and roll. Yeah, the yeah. police. Surely the police would just play ball and get. Yeah, paid. because Argentinian police don't want to try and put American kids no. in prison, do they? That's a whole load of bullshit. It's all that they it's don't. all corrupt. So they're just like making an extra hundred dollars off the sting operation, you know. Bad. Yeah. We should do that. We should set things up, make a bit of money on the side. How are we going to do that? Argentinian I'll, I'll drugs. drugs. <laughs> <laughs> where are you going to do? Where are you going to get drugs from? Oh yeah. Argentina. Argentina. I go to Argentina. Fly to Argentina, drugs. get some drugs, give the busies 100 quid so they let you fly at home. Take, and a, take a hundred dollar note. This will get me out of anything. <laughs> <laughs> See you, lads. Foolproof. Smart. I, um, yeah, I would, I've always liked the idea of South America. My mate is on a trip around Thailand and Cambodia with his whole family. It's just done. Oh, a six family weeks. trip? Yeah, family six to weeks. Thailand, yeah. yeah, it feels like you, that's where you, what you do as a single man. Yeah, that's well, that's apparently he's just... The full moon party, et cetera. He's misjudged yeah. the timing on it and he's taken a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old and his wife. That was the that's wrong trip. That's a full-on trip. trip, isn't it? Yeah, 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 that's too big. And we've just been to Portugal for like a villa holiday where we sat on our asses. And I was like, he was like, oh, give us an update on the holiday. I was like, we haven't moved. <laughs> we've gone from an air-con villa to a pool and yeah. back and he's in fucking Cambodia. That is such unreal With tourism. How old isn't it? are the kids? He nearly took six months off work. At the nine and seven, I think. Jesus. Did you guys go backpacking at all in your lives? No, no because we found comedy early. Mm. And then all of a sudden, I was 20 when shame. I started. He was like 18, 19. 18. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, I don't want to fuck off for six months. Yeah. Because this is too good. Yeah. Especially if you get traction early on. Mm -hmm. And I, that's one of the things I regret. I would have loved to take a year out and yeah. go. You went backpacking? I've, I've been backpacking, yeah. Where did you go? I went to uh, Colombia, Panama, this is a Nicaragua, <laughs> and then I met a boy on a, I was living on a sailboat. I met a boy who lived in Sweden. So then I went with him to Cuba. He, his job was taking care of a guy in a wheelchair. So I went and took care of a guy in a wheelchair with him in Cuba, illegally, because Americans weren't allowed in Cuba at the time. And then I ran out of money because it was, Cuba was far. And then I went home and then I had my mom buy me a flight to um, Sweden to be with him. And then we dated for a year. What happened to the man in the wheelchair? Got left in Cuba. Last time I saw him was in Cuba. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never I don't know. Out of again either. Just I don't know. so focused on the Swedish guy, you get to Sweden, you're like, what happened to Keith? Ah, he's dead. Oh, Hector Salamanca. What? In my head, it was Hector Salamanca. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you in Sweden for? I went six times in one year to the fifth largest city in Sweden, Linköping. What? 
You went shopping? You've lean just... shopping. It's it a city Chinese, no one has ever yeah, gone to. Yeah, it really sounds Chinese. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Is it the Chinese quarter of Sweden? Lean shopping. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way I'm saying it. Sounds like a great table tennis player. Yeah. What was his name? My ex. First name? Logan. So... Ooh. Oh, well, so he, so no, no. American. He wasn't, yeah, he wasn't Swedish. I thought he was Swedish when I met him. He had a weird accent because he had been living in Sweden for eight years. Then I slowly realized as we were hooking up for the first time that he had a tattoo of the state of Texas on his calf, as well as a peace sign and a yin yang tattoo. And then I was like, are you not Swedish? And he was like, oh no, I'm from Texas. And I was like, huh. But I was, it was already too late. Did that make him less sexy? Yeah, but I dated him for eight years still. <laughs> and he broke up with me, obviously. Why did he break up with you? distance he broke up with me when i was sitting at the 9-11 memorial did he know <laughs> oh come on yeah i've been broken up at the 9-11 memorial twice stop. <laughs> no stop going one's for each tower yeah what stop going well i used to work at the world trade center so i would always take phone calls sitting at the fountains and twice i've been called and broken up with while i'm staring at the towers well what was the towers it's never forget. tragedy yeah, so I can't go back there anymore. No, you can't. That's the worst thing that's if happened at the 9-11 memorial. Just don't go anywhere near that memorial. Yeah. <laughs> just stay clear of any monuments. <laughs> You're just crying time. next to the memorial. Like she yeah. really feels it. Yeah, and pe still. people are All like, what a fucking off. patriot. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a perfect place to get broken up with. Logan. Yeah. <laughs> um, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, eight, nine years. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So a long time. You had any other jobs? Um, yeah, I worked as a video director for a bunch of magazines. GQ? That's where I met Noel Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, GQ. And You've Vogue. met Noel Gallagher? In Vogue. Yeah, I met Noel Gallagher. Oh, that's class. He's a dickhead. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> like, in what way? Like, he was, like, five hours late to the shoot. He was, like, snapping at people. He had a sunglass. Like, classic, like, rock star behavior, but... It was like he was trying to be a rock star. He's fuming. He's mad. He's no, mad. I He's think, mad. honestly, that's the reports we've got, that Noel's a bit of a dick. You've been honest about I'd it. Want Liam's the sound one. Me. I'd want him to be a dick. Oh, he's such a cook. Yeah. It felt inauthentic, though. It's like you're trying too hard to be a dick. So you think he's a nice guy pretending to be a cunt? No, I think he's a cunt pretending to be an even bigger cunt. Right, okay. Tickets yeah. on sale Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel, genuinely? Kind of like it. Do you? Yeah. He's a rock star, isn't he? Yeah. Why do you want him to be lovely? He's not a rock star. He's a bellend from Manchester. Do you actually he's got a guitar. Like that? He is a rock star. Do you star. like when girls are mean to you in bed? <gasps> what? Oh, <laughs> he does? I don't know. Spit on I'm not, I'm not does, does, I've not had anyone be mean to me in bed. Have you not? Yes. Not mean, but like... <laughs> but like a little dominating? Your music's shit. No, I've 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 never been dominated. <laughs> that's in the trailer. They're just... <laughs> <laughs> You're making it. I didn't say have you. I said, would you like You've been choked, Finn? Uh, yeah. Was that good? Yeah, it was all right. There you go. But she wasn't dominating you. What was she doing? <laughs> Apologizing while choking you. I can imagine Sorry. you have very polite sex. Oh, I reckon he's a me. nasty little boy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the quiet ones, as they say. No. Steph, can you mix it? If someone's like, listen, I like to be, I like the dirty talk. Mm -hmm. Can you just go in that gear? Oh, can I do like a improv moment? Like, yes, and. Okay, and. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you're a dirty zap, boy. Zap. <laughs> it's, I think dirty talk is so hard. It's easier for you though, because you've got the accent. What do you mean? American accent lends itself more to dirty talk than ours. Yeah. It just uh, does. Have you heard their voices? True? Yeah. Listen. Yes. But but you can get away if you're a fucking American with saying anything, and I would just think you were saying something because I can't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> so I'd be like, oh, that's good. It probably wouldn't have been either. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think... Louis Garcia's goal was definitely over the line. Sound, yeah. Keep going. God. Keep talking Whoa. dirty. <laughs> There, I feel about like there's Smita. realistically only five things you can say in Dirty Talk. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, do yeah. you like that? Yeah. Yes. Fuck me. Fuck me. I'm not a Don't question. super cut this together. I'm not a question. Put it on your fucking subreddit. Go on. Go on. What's the three of the five? Go on. Uh, <laughs> your pussy is mine. <laughs> oh, ownership. Like Fuck me. Ownership. Your pussy is mine. It's the man saying all of that. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that? <laughs> Fuck me. That pussy's hey. mine. Hey, do you remember Lewis Garcia? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Jones. <laughs> Is he sponsoring the podcast? <laughs> no, I don't like questions. You've run out. I don't you've, want to A and B. You've run out at three. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean? I don't want to A and B in sex. We should both say an A. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. Because <laughs> then if you, if you don't hear we? them, you have to go, what? Yeah, you guys. <laughs> oh, you should never no, say what. You don't say what you say. Say that again. Okay. You guys would be like, you okay? 
You okay? And I'd be like, okay. Stop, you're stop, right. stop. Can I help you? You guys always say, you okay? What's wrong with that? You mean when you arrived before? I noticed you checked up before you went, you okay, mate? And she went, so weird being asked if you're okay. It's so weird. It's just polite. Because it, yeah. because it, I, but I feel like it's, it feels so like uh, British because it feels like you're already assuming something's wrong. Yeah, she's American. It's like already negative. Like, you okay? No, it's always <laughs> trying to fix it. You come in and go, We're oh, starting I'm... from a place of deficit immediately. No, you come in and go, yeah, I'm a bit thirsty. We would fix that. Right. No, but that's not why I was doing it. It's just a greeting, isn't it? Yeah. Like where I'm from, you go, you're all right. And it's not an actual question. You're just going to go, Hello. Yeah. It says hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when people don't get that and they go, actually, I'm not, you're like, that is not what I in was the, doing. I don't In the give US, a fuck. if you said you okay, they'd be like, yeah, why? Does something seem wrong? But in the US, you'd say, how are you doing? Yeah, how are yeah. you? Or you'd say, what's up? Yeah. That's, that's, the, same. that's the same. Yeah. What's up? But I Nothing. Like, but fuck I, off. Leave me alone. <laughs> if, I, if you walked in and they said, what's up? You'd go, what? Like, yeah. That's the same. Yeah, it's, it's a little jarring. Yeah. But what's up feels kind of positive. Whereas you okay is like, what's up? You're, like, you're looking no, bad. That, Are you okay? The opposite to us. It, yeah. It's just the opposite. Like, if I said to him, what's up? That, I would only say that if he looked sad. Mm, okay. But like, you okay? Like, that's like, just yeah. like a, it, it, that doesn't even, it's got no thought process behind it. It's yeah. just like an automatic. You okay? Yes. Yeah, so. But if you went, what's up? I'd be like, why do I look sad? Huh. Yeah. And the scouts one is, how are we? How are we? How are we? Oh, wow, I like that. Yeah. Well, that just sounds like you're a. Do you guys like if I walked retarded? into the pub and seven of my mates are. <laughs> he do. does. It sounds like you're a toddler. <laughs> you can say it. A toddler with, with learning. Retardations. <laughs> oh, wow, we? If I walked into a pub and seven of my mates are already there and I'm a little bit late, I'd sit right down and go, oh, wow, we? Uh huh. And they'd all be like, stop and laugh. Yeah. But so then what do you ask if you actually want someone to answer the question? How are you doing, lads? You all right? You look a bit. You upset? A bit long. <laughs> <laughs> a bit long. In a pub. Is that how you still... How are we? What's up, <laughs> you look a bit upset. <laughs> are you all right, it be? You all right? <laughs> that pussy's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wrong chat. No, in the pub, like, I wouldn't ever... No, yeah, if one of my mates anything. looked sad in the pub in a group of seven, I'm not having that serious conversation <laughs> at all until the other six have gone to bog. And then they I'm all like... go to bog together, I'd be like... <laughs> I've been on the box again. <laughs> hey, fucking Leno. I've got something to ask you. Before we get into your problems, what's going on with these six shit in the toilet? The bog is the toilet, by the way. The bog. Bog. Okay. It's a nasty mm. word. Do you guys not say Lou? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. You're confusing us with Hugh Grant in every film he's ever okay. been in. Uh, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm going to the Lou. Is not, yeah, it's, like, not it's not like you'd be like, who the fuck are you? It's if I right. was sat with you and I said, just before we go, I'm going to go to the Lou, you'd go, it's like yeah, posh. You're on a fucking turbo wool, that's why. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'd say I'm going, going to the loo. Going for the best or? What about going and spend a penny? Uh, spend a penny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Is that having a shite? Is that taking a shit? No, it's going to go to the toilet. Spend, spend a, penny. a penny. I'm going to go and spend a penny. That is an old school. I'm going to the I toilet. Like it's a toilet <laughs> to toilet public toilets used to cost a penny. Oh. If I say to you, I'm going to the toilet, I'm doing a poo, aren't I? Yeah. I, oh, oh no, he goes, I'm going to go and do a nasty muck. It's never as... <laughs> I say that to use in here because it's funny. I'll say I'm just going for a muck. But if I'm at home, I'll go, I'm going to go and use the toilet. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> with a girl, he's not going to say muck, is he's he? He's not going to go, I'm going to use the toilet. No, I do say with that. My... No, you don't. No, I actually you say do. things like, and if I'm, I'm going to go... And really subtle or I want to make it like, if I've been with someone long enough that they know that I've got a bad stomach, I'll make a joke about it and I'll be like, I'm just going to count how many sinks there are in the bathroom. I'll be back in a minute. Banter. And then I'll come back in and go, <laughs> one. That's a question. Do you announce if you're with a partner that you're going to the toilet or do you just get up and go? To take a shit. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're doing. I think it depends on the relationship, right? But yeah, like past a, a year, past one. a year. But once you're in Sweden for a year, once I you've got citizenship. <laughs> like, I'm not saying you get up and go, I'm going to go for a shit. But like, if you're watching the television, would you go, I'm just going to the toilet or would you just go? Once you've got citizenship. I think I'd say like I'm going to go pee. You're in the embassy, you get given your card. Lovely. Going for the shite. <laughs> <laughs> so you go, I'm pause and go for the, take a pee. No, I'd be like, I'm going to the bathroom. You can keep watching. Or if I'm like, if I'm going to shit, I'd be like, I feel bad. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, I think <laughs> those bad. <laughs> if I was sat next to you and you went, I feel bad. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'd be like, are you okay? <laughs> and I'd be like, What's oh, you, you're not actually wondering <laughs> because you're just saying you're okay. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. All girls have tummy issues, so we, girls you know, don't poo. Girls, don't girls break. poo a lot. 
I started. Do you know girls poo more than boys? I'm going to clarify that right now. Girls poo and talk about it all the time amongst ourselves. There's not a girl on the planet who could out poo me. No, you're the exception. <laughs> you're the LeBron James of pooing. <laughs> Why do you guys know that? Oh, like this is a very open and honest podcast. What, yeah. his IBS or LeBron James? <laughs> <laughs> Girls poo more than boys, don't no, they? No, they don't. They so do. we just, but we talk about it because we always have stomach issues. We're always trying to solve them with different potions. Like if girls are at brunch, they're talking about their stomach issues and their bowel movements. Peppermint tea. And boys. And that's it. That's all girls talk about. We should talk about shitting in girls. We don't though, do we? No, we, we talk don't. about good stuff. I think guys don't talk about girls as much as girls talk about boys. Not, not, not even at close. all. Not, we would never go out and talk about girls. Like never. it's your guy friend could be like dating a new girl and you wouldn't even find out about it for months. Him? He does did that. You, did you do that? Yeah, he does that. He'd be like, oh yeah, I've been seeing her for six years. <laughs> <laughs> We're married. There's my kids. <laughs> boys are very uh, much more secretive. I'm yeah. If proud. I make eye contact with a boy, I'm telling, I'm putting that in seven group chats that day. I've, yeah. I've been in relationships before, right? And I've come back from hanging out with just you. And like, they'd be like, so uh, how would them and Serica get on? How would they? I'd be like, why? Why would I know that? They're like, you've just been with them for 12 hours. Like, yeah, she got twatted much the match. Yeah. I, I, as we're growing up, we're talking more about our feelings and relationships. Yeah. But boys don't do that nowhere near as much as girls. You're on the group chat going, oh, this guy looked at me on the train. Yeah. Hey, girls, I would am I being bang out of order or not? I've just, like, done this, and, like, he hasn't even this. Then tell me what, I, like... Just... We text our friends after sex. There's no privacy. Whatever you are doing with women, other women know about it. Good. All the women. <laughs> All women. There's, like, an underground tunnel network of women. <laughs> Good. Communicating. I'm glad we're just spreading. I so, thought my missus was just going on Instagram. Apparently, she's just telling them. Not instantly. Just you don't get off and then... What do you mean? Well, as a comedian, I do. I feel like I tell the world everything. No, I mean, but you don't climb off the man and go. Oh, oh no, no, no. Group chats. Yeah, you yeah. wait a little bit. Yeah. And it's like 10 different group chats and they're all just variations of the other group chat. There's like one person yeah, not there. It's just one person missing. So yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. two people who run the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. We've the all admins. Got that. Yeah. 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 But you're going into like proper details. Proper details. It's mad bad. Not with 10 group chats. With a partner. Like what if you got it? What if you did the wrong group chat and you did family Christmas by? It's oh. happened. It's happened. <laughs> Square I've heard of it me, happening. Lamp. Sorry, Nan. If you were with a long term partner, you would <laughs> tell your friends the sex you just had. Or is it a new boy? No, I, I don't think it's like with a long term partner, unless something crazy happened. Sorry, he, he's. He's made himself laugh. <laughs> you know I mean? Adam just sort of quickly came up with a what women would text. I've, I've just squirted all over a lamp. <laughs> Get these what in. kind of sex are you having? Yeah, Lamps. Uh, well lit sex. <laughs> <laughs> just soft lighting. Yeah. Lamp based light. The ring lights. It's not well lit. Like you have to have a lamp on when you fucking. No one fucks in the on, dark you? unless you are a serial killer. <laughs> what? If you fuck no. in the dark, you're a serial killer. Shagging in the dark's great. No. No. no, no I haven't fucked back. in the dark in a, a while. On. You don't want the big light on. Like you fucking. Doing a deep clean or moving out. As but a like, teenager, you, have a you do because you're a bit like, and then when you realise sex fine, you turn all the lights on. Not yeah. all the lights. Oh, not downstairs, but I, I, I like a bit of light. Mate. What about if it's the Blitz? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, occasionally a dark. You were there. Don't. A dark bong. You can slam it. <laughs> Turn the Blitz. Dark is the worst. It's so bad. Your connection's going to weaken. I think that sometimes it's more connected physically because you're not. All you've got it's is like a sensory deprivation tank. Yeah. Once, it's like when you eat food in like a restaurant where they turn all the lights off and you can't see it and you're supposed to taste it better. You s other senses. Yeah. Are, yeah. What restaurant is this? <laughs> you've never heard of this? Do you guys know what I'm talking yeah. about? It's like the Skittle game. I it's play like, the Skittle game in the cinema. What's the Skittle game? I'll get a handful of Skittles and I'll give Seneca one. But then I'll you tell. fuck someone in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give her a, a yellow Skittle and she'll go, yellow. <laughs> So this restaurant She's not special. makes you eat in the dark so that it heightens your taste senses. I've only seen it in movies. I've never gone. But it's like fine dining. You eat in the dark. You you sit at a table. You don't know who you're sitting next to. And then you eat the food. That's fucking shite. Dance, dance Le Noir in London. Dine is right in the there. dark. <laughs> it wasn't going to be in fucking Rotherham, was it? Da dine, is, dine is eat in the dark served by blind waiters. Black shirt. <laughs> oh, no. Do not wear a white shirt for this. The food's on the floor, oh, isn't it? My God. In the dark, and the same as a blind. Take that to table seven. Served <laughs> <Sir, laughs> by waiters who are blind or, or visually impaired. That's yeah. why you don't know what you're eating because they don't either. <laughs> don't think the chefs are blind. It's all guessing. It's all braille. Take that to a table. 
They have to feel the food to know what the dish is. I'm going there, by the way. That was roasting it, that. Roasting it. Hey! Follow the sound! There's a bell in the food. That sounds awful. What is, um, what's the new, is it Love at First Sight is is going? Love is Blind. Love is Blind, that's it. It's yeah. got kicking off, isn't it? Married at yeah. First Sight as well. Lo so Love is Blind is the one that Laura's just got, got in. My wife's really into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she, you know, when she gets into a show, she's like, oh my God, you've got to watch. And usually I'm like, I don't, it sounds terrible. Love is Blind, I could see the appeal. Watch Love is Blind as well. Love Married is Blind, blind is where they talk like <laughs> through the wall. I heard it, Steph. Yeah, Yeah, Thank it's you. good, it's good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, they don't see each other. They do dates without seeing each other. They just they talk. go to this restaurant yeah. and then decide who they want to meet up with. And then there's the, it's as I'm saying, the first time they it's see blind each other, date, isn't it? It's just blind date. Is there any no wonder I like it? It's, it's the same TV show that I watched when I was a fucking kid. Well, it's regular. It's like blind people regular dating. Also, is there any curveballs? Does anyone go in and put an accent on and be be? Weird? No, that's what I'd do. No. What accent would you do, Carl? Colombian. Go for it. <laughs> Hello, mine. I do that to the door. That's, That's Colombian. Have it you is. been to Colombia? No. Nope. <laughs> you should go check it out. No, because I'm. Um, they Hello, mine. They've never been to Colombia either. <laughs> Hello, Mac from Colombia, Matt. <laughs> then you've got to. Keep, they they then fancy you. You've got to keep that up. No, but I'd see if they fancied me without the Colombianness. I think they might. <laughs> Hello, man. <laughs> I'm a Colombian. She'd be like, "Thank fuck, that was the weirdest thing about you." <laughs> exactly. No, I'd be audible, and then if, I'd be like, "Hey, I'm not." And then he'd be like, oh, God, thank God. He's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to add to that. <laughs> and then they get engaged the first time they see each other. Engaged? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's, but, it's blind date with but higher they, stakes. They, they get cast, married. They get married, don't they? They cast relatively attractive people, though, right? Yeah. Which Do they kind of defeats the obvious. One yeah, fucking yeah. troll in the jungle. That's what Apparently, you there's, where there was a troll. What? There was a semi-troll. Really? Yeah. And the reveal was. And you could see the guy's On face On Love like, is Blind? Uh... He chosen the person that he had the best connection with, and then they did the reveal, and it, you could see it in his face, like, oh, you're a moose. Just on Love is fun. Blind? Yeah. That's not just in his face, though. They have to have one uggo on the show to make it fair. They should be half ugly people. Yeah. And they need to up the stakes. Yeah. They should do an open application Love Island, I think, and it should just be like, they should put it in like some supercomputer and the most average looking people should get put in Love Island. Oh, I thought you meant just literally like the census. It's like any, from anyone. No, that no, could no. be like jury duty. You've got an 80 year old woman. You've got a 22 year old bloke. Like Love Island, but it, it's just normal average people. Bang average Love Island. Yeah. And that is so much more entertaining. Than Paul hotties. Robinson. Yeah. What? Paul Robinson, the goalkeeper. The former Leeds goalkeeper. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, he's just really average looking, isn't he? What about Munters? Do you not think Munters Island would be great? What's Munters? <laughs> Don't call it that. Ugly people. Oh. What would you say? Mo what did you say? Munters. Munters. What's that? I'll like Munter. M-U-N-T-E-R. I, I don't know. I can't explain. It's, it's like just, an ugly It just is. Yeah, just an ugly person. Okay. How would you, what, what what would you, you if someone was really ugly, how would you... Uggo. An uggo? Or like a four. <laughs> 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 no, these aren't fours. These are ones. Yeah. No, ones don't really Munta. exist. Munter. You've certainly right. never seen one in the wild. What, what do you guys think about ugly hot? What do you mean? What? The theory of ugly hot? Yeah. Uh, we don't know you it. don't know what that is? No. Yeah. It's, a th it's something women invented because they had no other options left. So they invented ugly hot, which is a theory that some men are so ugly, they're actually hot. Have you got an example? <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. Right. He's not ugly though. Oh, is, is it he? like anti-comedy when something's so not funny it becomes funny? Yeah, but I think it's just, I actually think it's a form of female desperation that we're like, there's no good men left. We have to make something work. Who's an evil with like sexiest man alive? Huh? Benedict Cumberbatch. Ironically. Yeah, Ugly like, Hot is Sherlock. powerful. Ugly Hot's a powerful ideology. Any, anybody else? Yeah. Uh, look up Ugly Hot actors. Okay. There's a million. Oh, um, Adam Driver. Oh, and then, yeah. But then there's also Hot Ugly, which is guys who are hot forward, but if you squint in your eyes a little bit, they're ugly. Pete, Ryan Reynolds. Pete Davidson. Pete He's Davidson is Ugly Hot. Barry Keoghan. Ugly hot. He's, I cannot but hot hear ugly his name is or different. see him anymore without seeing like he plays for the US men's. Jacob Elordi. He's, he's just tall. hot ugly. He's, he's just tall. <laughs> Jacob Elordi is, is hot ugly. Yeah, he's just No, he's looking. just tall. Who's this? 
Jacob Elordi. Have you seen Salt Ben? No. It's just a new guy on the block. That Jeremy Allen White, is that what he's called from the Bear? Oh, Ugly yeah. hat. Jeremy Allen White, yeah. Ugly hat. He's in good shape, though, isn't he? Yeah. I and mean, he's doing underpant adverts. He's yeah. Doing right. And their their personality can get them not, the hot. Is this just for men? Does this not work the other way around? I, it would feel like it would be wrong for women. No, we say mid. Don't we want a hot mid? A hot mid. Yeah, so a girl who doesn't know she's attractive, but she isn't ugly. She's just in the middle and she's like, nice. Yeah. Called Emily and does pottery. Who? She's called Emily and she does pottery. Oh, you're doing my bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing my bit. What's your, what's your That's bit? That's the example of what I got. Is. Um, I got... I've been canceled a few times in my career very lightly, but the worst anyone ever got mad at me is I went on this show on TikTok and I said that like all guys, all cool artsy guys think they want to date a cool artsy girl, but they actually want to date like a six. Her name's Emily. She's always in the background of photos. Um, she's like really into Japan as a culture. <laughs> um, she, Keep going. she does pottery. She like loves like pomegranate. You know, she's always like eating fruit in photos. She's always in the background of a photo as well. She's like, you can find her on the third slide of an Instagram carousel on her boyfriend's Instagram. And she's just like, you can really project a lot onto her, but there's, she's not giving you much. She's a blank canvas. Yeah. She's a blank canvas. Yeah, she's a muse. Down. You can make a muse out of Emily, whereas like a cool, hot, artsy girl, me, you can't make a muse of because we won't shut the fuck up. So you can't really project anything onto us. People got really mad at me for this. Girls and boys. Why would Emrata get... called me a misogynist. Who? Emrata, uh, the model. Emily Ratajkowski. She's a beautiful woman. Uh, from she's the a Blurred what? Lines video. She's infuriating. She's a beautiful... She's she like... called you a misogynist? Yes. But but she's in the music video, which is essentially a yeah. song about sexual assault. She's yeah. a cool girl, though, isn't she? She's the ultimate cool girl. No. <laughs> No, no, I mean in a bad way, as in she's oh, just oh. a cool girling, just give men what they want. Oh, like a like, like a like boys a, girl. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Not like I don't know. She's very like I hate men. Is her vibe oh, like publicly? She like posts videos of herself of her of her getting catcalled on the street and stuff. She is beautiful though. Yeah, I'd catcall her. <laughs> yeah. That's when, when did she call you that on another TikTok? She called me, she replied to that. So there are a bunch of people then made response TikToks to that video being like, here are 10 reasons why this girl is a misogynist, blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, she is a misogynist. And then Mr. Beast commented like, I agree with her, like with me. It's like, thank God I got Mr. Beast on my side. <laughs> but it like really divided the internet. There was like op-eds written about it. There is, sure. Isn't that sort of why you did it though? You no, 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 no. Because I will say controversial things in my standup that are well thought out that I know are going to ruffle feathers. This was like a hungover whatever take that I just spewed. And I thought that I was making fun of men for like claiming they want something, but always going for something else. But people really took it as I was like putting women down. Okay. When in reality, you know, you managed to do both and that's the dream. <laughs> I think you should be able to put everyone down. That's true equality. I don't, the Emily's. Like, you know what I mean? I actually totally agree. And with I that. actually understand what you're saying as well. You know the the girl that loves Japan? Her and her boyfriend always go to Japan for cherry blossom <laughs> season. Yeah. Somehow they're always there in April. What do you think about the men who go? Like the uh, the man it's, always, the it's always like creative directors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Steph, you have nailed this in so many different ways. Ah, uh, you've been rumbled, honey. <laughs> so Carl and his fiance uh, are planning a trip to Japan next summer. And have been to Japan. He's Obviously. essentially our creative director and they lived in Japan for a year and it was her idea. <laughs> What's her name? She's 10 and she's on the first picture. So What's her name? Serica. Serica? It's Irish for Sarah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Thanks for translating. And she's a wonderful woman. Does she have mousy brown hair? No, like she a has light brown. Beautiful blonde hair. But is it dyed? Nope. Oh, okay. No, she's a. She she's passes a, she's the a test then. She's a ten as well. These girls usually have like a light brown hair, and they're five I know, six I with I a know thin these frame. People, yeah. Yeah. They're from New Hampshire. Not my woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not my women. Uh, yeah, that I, people got really mad at me for that. So am I. <laughs> Shall we, uh, should we call a break? And Carl can have a little chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lids, do us a favor, yeah? You love us, don't you? Yeah. You love this podcast. That's why you're listening to it. And especially if you're watching on YouTube, helps us immeasurably. If you go and leave a comment, like, subscribe, and turn the bell on, it, it sends us through the roof with the algorithm. It costs you absolutely nothing apart from half a second of your life and helps us no end. And you can follow us on socials, can't you, Dan? Do, uh, yeah, I have a word pod. I nearly said my handle then. <laughs> I have a word pod. Just give us a follow and comment and don't just like something. Retweet it, share it, put it on your stories.
Just be sound. Yeah, Cost nothing to be nice. You're good, egg. <laughs> hey. And we're back. <laughs> Part four of four. Have you, Steph, Dag, yeah. got anything you would like to fuck off forever and put in room 102? A lot, yeah. I would say the first would be grown men wearing fun socks. Oh. <laughs> Women hate men having a good time, you know. I, I'm not massively against Women that. Women hate men, period. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's like, what are you doing wearing a palm tree on your ankle? Or Why not? Ties. Pick something up and put it down. Fun ties. Fun ties get fucked. Get fun out ties of are too far. Yeah. Fun socks are just for me. You can't even see them. <laughs> Why are you looking at me feet? But so what's the point? Why should men have anything for themselves? That's gross. <laughs> See? That's uh, gross. What about a grown man with minion socks. What about underwear? Uh -huh. Underwear? What if you take a man's pants off and he's got like, I don't know, like... Like Superman underwear? Iron Man pants on. Yeah, I won't be taking those off. <laughs> take them off myself. I'm a strong, independent man. I just, I don't think men should be doing <laughs> anything cutesy or fun. It's like contribute to the stock market. Yeah, but I am contributing to the stock market of big socks. <laughs> How big are they? <laughs> Forty socks. Don't even Look, fit. I don't even. I, I've took offence to this. I what, I like the idea of wearing fun socks. I don't. The, the only reason I don't do it. The only reason I don't is I'm so like rushed getting ready every day. I like having a million black socks. black Nike socks. Yeah, that I can just. Yeah. They never need to be paired. I just wash them, dry them, throw them in the drawer, and I repair them. Yep. And then the next, when I get up the next day, I can just put them on. Yes. But I love the idea of having the time and energy and the patience to match to have socks fun to socks. Outfit. Yeah. Jack's got blue socks on now and he's working it. That's fine. Like, I think that's pattern, not what's being said. Abolish patterns this in is, general. This is not. That's not being. You've got pattern socks on. Yeah, that's plaid, isn't it? This I. Th I'm a girl. All right. Okay. I mean, but like, I like I I was school. right. Cri huh? cr humor, hu <laughs> like trying to do jokes with your socks. That, like, don't try to be banter. funny. Yeah, oh, come on. What about odd socks? Body banter. Fuck off. What about little ducks on your socks? Ducks. What about the ones with the days of the week that, on it? That would mean you have a weird sex thing. If you have ducks on your socks, I'd be like, you have a weird sex thing. Of course, I know everyone does, and anyone who doesn't have a weird sex thing hasn't got it out of them yet, and they're probably killing people in the. Spare time. Are you Spare fucking ducks? I, thought, I think you nearly said sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got a He's weird sleep sex murdering thing. again. Don't wake him. There's no... You think everyone has a weird sex thing? It's weird to other people, yeah. Do you know, have Go you ever on. met anyone who doesn't? Have a weird sex thing? Yeah. I've met vanilla people, yeah. No, but no, they just haven't told you. have met liars. Okay, what's your weird sex We've thing? We've told ours a million times, what's yours? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have a weird sex thing. Not weird to you. No, but like people's definition of weird I is I leave different. my duck socks on in bed. Yeah, so, girls leaving their socks on, class. That is sexy. Yeah. I think having sex with men, the number one killer for women is a weird sex thing. Yeah, it is. You should all it's like It's like flirting with danger. <laughs> Why would you come near us? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very dangerous move and you keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. We're not yeah. smart. Do you genuinely think there are some people that are just straight down the line? They're just like, oh, I've got a penis and it's going in a vagina. I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think if, if someone introduced, I think some people don't have the imagination to even know that they could want something yeah. else. Yeah. I talked to one of my mates about porn and I was like, well, like, we don't, he's not one of my mates that we've done loads of like laddie chat like that. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, just like porn with, you know, like a woman having, se they just have sex. And you're like, yeah, yeah, but would you, what, like, kind? Like, what pain is being inflicted he was, on he her? Was like, he was like, no, 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 that's all, that's it. That's the most boring thing I can ever imagine. Yeah, but like even like porn is so much more adventurous than their life as well. I'll watch stuff that I don't want to be within a one mile radius. A hundred percent. That's the th the fun of it. Is that it's detached, right. isn't it? But yeah. he was like, no, no, no. I just need to see an attractive woman have sex with a man. You're like, oh my god. But that's also what off. I would watch. Oh, what? I want a story. Oh. I, mean, I, I want need a the character story. Arc. I need the story. If someone's just getting sucked off from minute one, you're like, how did oh. this happen? <laughs> I need a bit of story on the prequel because then you put yourself in it. Then I'll be fixing the boiler as well. Yeah. Have you ever seen porn where he's fixing a boiler? Yeah. I is. think that's just hack, you know. I think no, that's just... work. I've seen plumber ones. I haven't. Yeah. I, I do like the story, but sometimes I'm just like, let's just get... Like, it depends what mood I'm in. I need Am no I looking story. after myself? <laughs> I need a... zero story. Nothing. What story do you need? You're there to have a wank. There's a dick. There's a mouth. We're all having fun. Yeah, but fuck, I don't need plumbing I involved. I more of it. I'm like, that could be me. 
If it's just a guy, I'm like, how did this happen? I don't know what to do with a boiler. I do. I need a moment <laughs> before. <laughs> there's, there's Paul, you call, call Peter. Call someone. <laughs> yeah, my Paul will be ringing the handyman while I shagged the woman. <laughs> You're like, man, can you come fix this boiler? I'm going to fuck me bed. <laughs> All right. Probably do this separately. That was like my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'll say this. If you want the fun, wacky socks on men, can we have the backpacks that have got like animals on them for women? I, I, gone. I want those gone. Yeah, that's horrible. I, I, once you're past like 14 Weebs. years old. I don't like anything cutesy. Off. Men or women, I think it's embarrassing. Grow up. Become like kinky, not cutesy. Yeah. Cutie is disgusting. I'm putting an age limit on a unicorn backpack. Go on. I just think 15, 14. 14 you should, still too you old. You shouldn't be 30. I'm like, whoa. Or like, you know when people have like miniatures, like keychains, like miniature, like fruit on it or something, like girls. <laughs> it's the same girls that really like J Japanese stuff. What do you think about men? She doesn't like Japanese stuff. We just move. <laughs> what do you think about men with wallets? With wallets? Yeah. As opposed to just like carrying cash in their mm. pocket? I think wallets are respectable. They show there you have you your shit together. No, they don't. Uh, can we vote on the socks? <laughs> like, Dan can have a wallet. You, you can't to, you pull a chunky it. old wallet. Have out. you got your wallet on you? No. It should be a thin wallet. It, oh, sh no, it shouldn't have a fold. It's like a couch. Yeah, it's no, like that it, sofa. Yeah. He keeps it down the side and he carries it around like this. <laughs> Swings it around. You can keep his full <laughs> house keys in it. <laughs> I that's, that's a I purse. That's, that's, that's a purse. That's, that's respectable. I, that is fine. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that a card holder. Like if Carl had one of them, I've I'd got still it. be like, I've got it on my phone. Yeah, no, no, no. That's not that though. That's not that. Like that. This is still a bit much for you. You wouldn't have one of them, which I is why you haven't have got one. it. And it's like I actually respect them. I think the sound. I also don't mind a fold one if it still remains thin. The one Finn has got looks like his granddad made it. <laughs> like that thing. For, to celebrate the war being there? over. It could kill you with a cash and It's cards. a purse. Oh, he's got all the cards. It is a purse. Yeah. It's a purse. He's got his childhood library membership card. He's, he's, there isn't any bit of plastic he's thrown he's away. He's ready for everything. Organ if, donors or the library. Matalan. If he dropped his <laughs> wallet, right, and yeah. like they, they gave it to the police and the police put a sign up to find the owner because it didn't have his ID in it, they would be like, we're looking for a man between the age of 45 <laughs> and 103. Yeah. There's not a chance they'd... You go to collect it and be like, I've lost my wallet. And they'd be like, is it this one? You'd be like, yeah. They'd be like, no, it's They'd be not. like, it's still where you dropped it because it's too heavy to pick up. Do you take it on dates? Yeah. What's, what's it? I don't Do you know what? what? And he uses it to I, club the woman. Yeah. Finn's having a very vulnerable day. Let's leave him be. You're yeah. fine, Finn. Okay. If, you turn up, if someone turns up to a date with like a big bulge in their pocket, what's that? Are you a Matalan member? No, no, one's ever, no one's ever referenced it. <laughs> yeah, you don't need an impromptu trip to Costco on a date. Yeah. Right, I'm, I want to put socks in. Can no. we vote on the socks? No. no. Yes. yes. Men can have fun. No. It's three to two and it's gone. Yes. What else have you got, Steph? Um, videos of little kids breakdancing on Instagram. <laughs> I think it's weird. Little kids shouldn't be moving like that. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't think I'm getting, I don't think we got the same algorithm. You, <laughs> you don't see videos of like little six year olds like doing weird break dances. No, you no. guys know what I'm talking about. No, we about. see tits and shoes. Mm. You don't, you've never seen these videos. So there is something over here uh, that's like, it's like dance classes. I'm gonna have to be careful. No, I'm not. I'm gonna say exactly what I think. It's like a uh, gypsy techno, uh -huh. kids dance hall mm -hmm. stuff. Have you ever seen this? They're like in neon ballroom, like, dresses and then they go it's like a dance thing you think it's going to be ballroom dancing but it's like happy hardcore and then the kids just do any fucking move they want and it's manic they're and like kind what, of crumping and stuff it's full on yeah, yeah. and that's a m massive thing in this country yeah huge it's oh, it's it. very weird no no there <laughs> it is <laughs> it's it's that is a ma i literally don't get it saturday afternoon you go in like the zara or the tesco it's just kids <laughs> Dressed like gypsies, break dancing in the bread aisle. Yeah. Exactly. It's no, not it, in clothes shops and supermarkets. I don't know if I explained that properly. I've right. never seen this. It's like videos no, from dance classes. You you are, you surely are aware of it. I don't though. go on TikTok and I don't watch kids dancing. Cool. It's a fun chat, Carl. <laughs> Thanks for adding to it. I know where the comedy lies. <laughs> Shut that down. That is furious. I've right. never seen what either of you are talking about. That's How do you not know what I'm talking about? I don't know if we get a lot of the kids breakdancing over here. I don't Why know. Why am I getting that? We get a lot of Australian women not breakdancing. You hate watching it. Yeah. But but I didn't. 
I didn't ever look it up to begin with. Yeah, but you what I mean is, just like, the algorithm it. sent you it and you've watched it being like, look at this fucking stupid video. God, this is fucking stupid. Why, why am I even watching this? Yeah. And then it's like, because the, the phone isn't listening to you say that, mm -hmm. it, it is, but that's for other reasons. Like it's, you've watched it also. It's gone, oh, we'll send Steph more of that. Right. Whereas when the first one of them got sent to me, I was like, kids dancing, no! And I swiped <laughs> away and they were like, he doesn't want that because he's mm -hmm. not a pedophile. Mm -hmm. Pedophile. That's who I am. Yeah, it's, it's like I get videos of kids ballroom dancing, break dancing. That's weird. Yeah. You need to work on your algorithm. Yeah. You can consciously override this by just swiping them right. and you're just like, no. I got to stop, stop looking up like Epstein on them and Island. Them like, <laughs> flights. Photos. I don't think you're getting this one because no one knows what you're on about. And also <laughs> over here, the one that's bugging me, these lot don't even know it. So I don't think we're getting this through. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but he's got kids, so I get it. He's got. <laughs> Did anyone else see it? No. What? You just completely missed the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the gavel. That's not going. <laughs> I really don't feel well today. Uh, what's your last one? Okay, I have one more. The last one is the European healthcare system. I'm sorry. I want to be able to go to a European pharmacy, get opioids like in America and get better. Pay I can't get a fucking antibiotic here. If you're sick here, you're sick forever. What do you mean by Europe though? It's a big place. I mean, you know what I mean? Everywhere that's not the US that's on this continent. Whoa, 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 whoa. So in America, you can just go into a pharmacy and be like, I don't feel well, give me some heroin and they'll give you it. Pretty much. And you think that's good? That's the whole, yeah. Is this like Oxycontin and stuff like that? Yeah, it's just like, I feel like I go, I have like a cold here. Because every time I come to Europe, I get strep throat, which I do believe is an STD. You get what? Strep throat, tonsillitis. Okay. I always get sick when I'm here. Okay. Because, you know, you make out with a lot of boys, whatever. No. You go to the pharmacy, they can't give you anything. You have to like call a national health line to get an appointment to go to a doctor. It's too much. We're just trying to stop ep epidemics of drug addicts. Give uh, give me all the epidemics of drugs. <laughs> Opioids do sound fun though, yeah. don't they? It's just like- you never had one. Never or had just, I just want a strong cough syrup. Codeine sleeps are good. Yeah. yeah. Trippy. Yeah, it's just, just very- Paracetamol? <laughs> That's just Skittles, that doesn't work. Bad. Yeah. yeah. When people say, oh, I'm addicted to like prescription drugs, you're like, eh, I don't know. I'm it's like, just more isn't? fun drugs. Grow up. <laughs> I don't think our, our prescription drugs are as fun as America's. No way. I think they're like strong. Every Remember when we went to, to uh, Nashville and I just, we went, oh, is it Walgreens? What's oh, the ones shit. that's the equivalent yeah. of Boots? Walgreens. And uh, I would like, I just had a bit of a headache. Over here, if you have a headache, you'll get some anodin or paracetamol or something like ibuprofen and you'll get them in like a pack of six or 12. That's the limit. Here you got a hundred. It's a, it's a, it's a jar, like yeah. a cookie jar of ibuprofen. Yeah. Like why wouldn't you need 1500? I take six Advils a day. What's Even Advil? when I'm not in pain, ibuprofen. And right. you, you think we're in the wrong? I'm not saying I'm in the right. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I want. Six ibuprofen a day for no reason. Well, I always have a low headache. Because you keep taking ibuprofen. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Potato, potato. <laughs> what's, what's Adderall? Is that the... Adderall's the limitless pill, isn't it? It's yeah. scholarly meth. Yeah. I, this meth is scholarly smart people. Meth. I'll give that a fuck. Put that in the pocket, by the way. <laughs> Adderall's awesome. Have you had it? I've, ha I've taken it, yeah. Yeah, and is it just hyper-focused stuff? Yeah, you're it's like... It's just modafinil. Modafinil, sure. yeah, it is. Well, the modafinil. thing is you take it... Modafinil's an anti-narcolepsy drug. But no, it's used for the same it's reason, the same isn't it? reason, though, and it's hyper-focused. Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, it is, absolutely. Modafinil's used, used to, for to focus, focus and concentration. People yeah. use it in university as a study drug. But it's probably really hard to get, right? It's not, not really. you know, if you just go on the right yeah. website and lie about it. You know you. they have prescription ketamine if you just in keep the US saying now. You're falling asleep what? a lot. Prescription ket? I have friends that just, they did a Zoom call with a nurse practitioner and they're like, like me also oh, sick. I'm a little depressed. And they're like, would you like to try ketamine therapy? And they're like, yeah, I guess I'll try it. And they get these ketamine lozenges and they do like, I mean, they're like fully, you trip from them. No, it's like, is it, but it isn't like micro dosing. You're it's not going not in a micro -doses. K hole. It's not micro Oh, right. No, no, no. You've and got a K hole lozenge. Yes. Wow. My friends have them as prescriptions. I think we need to go back to America. We need yeah. To sue this. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> the holes. And Adderall is, I mean, Adderall is so bad for you, but it's, it's like easy to get with the Is doctor. it bad for you though? Yeah. Why? Addictive, innit? Addictive, it's it creates it, -like. agitation. Yeah, it's it's meth. It has meth in it. It's one like molecule away from meth or something. 
I don't know how that works. <laughs> I haven't done me. It must be I've good though. Because everyone, everyone wants focus it. Focus me though. Kept me awake. That was yeah, it. there's a shortage right now. Is there? Yeah. Because everyone wants it. Gen Z is like addicted to Adderall. Yeah, we just have a coffee. The, th the problem with Adderall is you take it being like, oh, I'm going to like write an essay. And then you end up just like organizing your Google Drive for 10 hours. <laughs> like it's you, it's never like the w what you want to concentrate on. Yeah. You have to do it in the right place. Yeah. I've never done it's anything. It's good for exercise. It makes you want to run. And gives you heart palpitations. And it gives you heart palpitations. And it I'm makes in. you skinny. Sign me up. <laughs> it curbs your appetite. Have you taken six Advil today? Or do you? I've have... taken probably five Advil today already the day has not ended wow yeah, it's yeah. 3 p.m and and a mucinex and a dayquil what are these things i don't know i don't know Day what's Quil's going like on <laughs> i've been it's tripping this whole time it is it literally is yeah, yeah. you take dayquil and nyquil it's a caffeine one yeah. so you take an upper and then a downer yeah oh and i'm at a perfect equilibrium right now america's wild isn't it <laughs> Yeah. I don't think our health system is going to end up going in room 101 here, you know. <laughs> oh, really I think good. it is quite superior to the US one, you know, where people uh -huh. like go to hospital and then spend the rest of their lives trying to pay, her. pay right. off the fact that they broke yeah. their arm. Ours is free, you just never get slide. an appointment. Right. That's, it's a different system. Have I'm like the alcoholic running the meeting where you guys are like, I don't <laughs> want to be like that. We're keeping our health system. <laughs> Have you ever called an ambulance? Have I ever called an ambulance? No, it would cost me $5,000, I think. Just to you, call them, by the way. That, <laughs> you understand how insane that is? No, I understand our health system is terrible. Yeah. Obviously. But I want to be able to go to a pharmacy and get drugs easier. I actually do think, I actually do agree that I should be able to go to the pharmacy and buy any legal drug with no permission from a doctor. I don't think you should have to go through a doctor to get the medication you know you need. That is... Annoying it's and safe, stupid. Just or just no, seeing no. a doctor here is complicated. Yeah. You have to like call a number. Yeah. That's what, crazy. What do you do? Just stand on the street shouting doctor, doctor? <laughs> I can, like, get well, in a taxi. We, have, we have urgent care. So you it can just go walk in like a walk-in clinic. We've and got then, them. We've got walk-in. And then we have um, this website called ZocDoc where you just look up the nearest doctor near you for any practice and you can go that day. But then you have to pay. Yeah, I mean, I have insurance, so I'll probably yeah, well, that's like private fifty dollars or whatever. Private healthcare. Yeah, you, you can, can do that over here as well. Yeah, yeah. But anytime I've gotten sick here, it's been a fucking nightmare. Yeah, but you've tried private. I've tried everything. I've knocked on private practitioners' doors in Paris, and they wouldn't let me in. Do you know what they'd say? Stop taking painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I I got strep throat in Portugal, and they sent me to a makeshift hospital unit, and they gave me a shot of steroids in my ass in front of a bunch of other patrons. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't a doctor. Was that? <laughs> Got the opioids you're after. Yeah, that, go, go in that shed over there. You put a needle in your ass. You'll feel nice and I, mean, I just went hours. to buy cocaine and then they <laughs> shot me in the ass. They told me I had COVID. Uh, we can't. We're not. No, uh, we're, we're superior. All, all very protective. But I do think you should be able to get medication without going to a doctor. I yeah. know what I want. Like if I've got a bastard of a headache, I shouldn't have to ring my um, and I've ran out of codeine, which I've been prescribed before. I shouldn't have to ring my GP's office, speak to that fucking cunt on the phone, Jackie. see what mood she's in, whether I get to speak to a doctor. Honest. And if 10 other people in my neighborhood get to, uh, got beat me to the phone call that day, I've got to just have a headache That's for a few crazy. days. But you understand why that exists? Yeah, because- It's not everyone, a great system though, No, it? but it protects people more people than it hurts. Yeah, but like I, I believe a lot more in adult responsibility than like- Yeah, because you've got your head screwed on. Most people haven't. There's yeah. a there's an antihistamine for kids that you have to get from a pharmacy. You're like, what are we doing? It's just it's to stop people. They've got a fucking rash. Yeah, but like then then you shouldn't have access to anything that could be bad for you that you could get addicted. But to. But you guys still have drug addiction. Everyone yeah. here looks like they're on heroin already, <laughs> so it doesn't no, feel like it's Scotland working. For the week, that's why. Yeah, yeah. they're they're not looking great. There's a lot of a lot more people getting damaged by alcohol than totally, codeine. Yeah. I agree with that, but you understand that they protect it because they can and they do. Yeah, but there's a bit of a double standard there, isn't it? Like, yeah, because there's more money made so on beer. Stop it and give me some codeine. But there are health services that we're pretty proud of it, even though it sort of doesn't work that well. Yeah, but you guys the do. The theory it. of it is phenomenal. Like for we sure. could stay in hospital for a year and have five operations, and it would be zero pounds. Yeah, good in theory, bad in practice. I've heard of it all before. No, that's quite good in practice as well. Yeah. The operations one. Yeah, like I could break my arm today, and by the end of today, it will be in a cast. Right. Fully ready to be fully secured and 
on its way to recovery and it'll cost nothing. But if I had a stomach ache, then fuck all you. hell would break loose. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll give you a steroid injection injection in your ass <laughs> in a tent. A shed, uh, we've got some other Room 102s from listeners. GC says, Room 102, people posting pictures of their kids' first day at school or first day back at school after summer. No mm. one gives a fuck. Get it in Room 102. I um, I have a problem with anyone who has a problem with what other people post on their social media. Just don't follow don't, them. Don't look at it. Don't follow them. Mute them. Like, there's so many ways for you to not see stuff on the internet you don't want to see. Like, let people post whatever they want. It's not, like, people just love moaning about what other people are doing. That's just people. But it's probably someone who can't have kids being like, oh, I don't want to see your kids. I haven't got any. Eh. And stroking their cat. And also, a lot of people just copy what everyone else do. So they're like, oh, if you're putting pictures of your kids, I get it. I've got kids. And you get to September. And it does feel like everyone's like, really? Oh. Yeah, because people are proud of them. They're like into it. They're into the kids. They love the kids. It's also they're people happy. documenting stuff yeah. like that because then in a year's time, they get Facebook memories of that. And in five years, they get it. And the but I, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not like, wow, I scroll past, but I'm like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> they should be breakdancing. Dylan Mooney. <laughs> Dylan Mooney says, biscuit tins, get them in room 102. No need to combine biscuits to go stale and leave you uh, with 300 grams of crumbs. Everyone knows that biscuit tins are for sewing kits. I don't think there's anybody under the age of 60 <laughs> He's got a biscuit tin. who's got an active oh, biscuit tin. God. There's a biscuit tin in your house. Oh, God. Not that's not a sewing Those kit. Those giant... No, I mean, like, like the bin. circular yeah. things. Got, yeah, I've only seen those in context of You've got of a biscuit sewing. tin? Laura, yeah. Laura started a biscuit tin. And I said this, I was like, what are we doing? They contaminate each other. You but get all like, They all the, go stale together. Yeah, and they get all the dust on each other. Also, well, you've just got biscuits on the fucking... You need to hide biscuits. Fine having biscuits in the house, but it's different from having a tin where every time you walk in the kitchen, you're like, you know that fancy fucking biscuit. I also think it's mental that anyone can buy a packet of biscuits and have, have them last long enough to need... Transport and into a new vessel. If I open a pack of biscuits, they're finished. They're gone. That's that is the snack. Yeah, the packets of biscuits. Maybe is, for two days. Yeah, they but might be there for two nights. Have you ever eaten one biscuit? <laughs> Ever? That shouldn't be the serving size. The serving size on a packet of biscuits should half. be half a pack of biscuits. And <laughs> um, we get some epic size custard cream packets though. Like they're not just the strip. It's like a quadruple. Oh, yeah, because you got a family. It's a you. You do well to finish the full. I'd give it a go. I love a custard cream. Custy cream? Yeah, custard a crusty cream. Cr Have you had a, a custard cream? cream? No. Oh. A bourbon? No. You ever had a penguin? No. <laughs> so you'd say cookie? Yeah, cookie. But a cookie to us is a, a type cookie. of biscuit. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a nana biscuit, really. Okay. Isn't it? Like it's a bit old school, a custard cream. Yeah. yeah. A bourbon. I like biscuits. I've never had a biscuit and been like, I wish I didn't eat it. But like, you have they're always breakfast. positive. Don't you have biscuits at breakfast though? He when I'm here. No, but I'm in, in the States, isn't that? Oh, thing? no. It's a different thing now, isn't it? Oh, is it? Fried chicken and biscuits. What is it? It's not fried chicken and custard creams. <laughs> that Although, sounds great, though. If you went far enough south, I reckon you could probably find that somewhere. Yeah. I don't even know what a biscuit is. It's nice, though. What's a biscuit on breakfast? A, like a breakfast bris biscuit? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how else to describe it besides a biscuit. Yeah, it's like a pastry. Mm. Is it savoury or sweet? It's a bit like a waffle, No. No. No, mm. you mean like 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 uh, with when you eat with fried chicken? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know how else oh, to describe scone. it. It's, it's, a scone. it's a scone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's scony. Okay. But chicken and gravy. Fuck but that's really like hat. southern. I don't I don't know. Know. Yeah. You wouldn't really eat that in like New York or anything. No, no. I had it in Nashville quite a lot. Biscuit yeah. love. Oh, yeah, that gaff that was at a massive. Yeah, we went straight it. back when we got there this year. Class with the sausage gravy. Oh, it looked horrible though. I love Nashville. So much better than here. Jerry Sue Ollahead says, Room 102, tall people at music concerts. I'm five foot and there's nothing more annoying than a big lanky six foot fella standing right in front of me or near the front blocking the view. Yeah. Sounds like your problem. Yeah, it's the look of the draw. Yeah. Move. <laughs> Maybe there could be a tall section. But then you're penalised and you have to go and to the back And also there's tall. small tall people. What do you mean? Is that like well, that really the smallest tall person you can't see? What do you mean? What happens if everyone's 6'6 six, six and you're 6'2? You're still classed as tall, but you can't see either. Who the fuck are you going to see with the, the basketball? <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters. The, uh, yeah. I don't know, Only I tall people got I think tall it. people are so privileged, generally, that having them at the back of concerts, that's the only bit you're allowed in, <laughs> is sound. I think fuck I think them. so, too. Yeah. I sat behind a toppers at a comedy show the other day, and it ruined yeah. the experience. Is tall an important um, attribute for a man? For me, no. No. Is small important though? Like they can't be small. 
No, Charlotte's I mighty would, Healy. I'd prefer, I'd prefer if yeah. he wasn't shorter than me. Okay. But I've dated shorter. And I have a short you? brother. I'm 5'8". So you're quite tall. Yeah. Like but, for, and, for and a, Does he have to be yeah. like as tall as you without heels on or when you've got no, heels No, he's not allowed to I've wear never, heels. I don't wear heels, so I don't know. I, I've never dated a really tall guy. I've never had that experience. I don't like like my friends like really tall masculine guys. I think I like a guy who is a lesbian. You like men, male lesbians? I like man lesbians. Talk and men it. who are my goal weight as well. Your like goal weight? He's really skinny, yeah. That's so funny. Skinny lesbian men. Skinny lesbian men is my type. Are you a lesbian? No, I like man lesbians. <laughs> Stupid question, Carl. Is there any? Who's that? Matty Healy. Is he one of them? Yeah. yeah, he's he's a hot man lesbian. I used to really like Timothy Chalamet, but that's over. He's a lesbian. He, he's too much of a twink <laughs> now. <laughs> he's a what? He's a lesbian. Him. Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. What about Tom Holland. No. no. I like like um. You need he's to like boy. you're on death he's door. Gay, dark hair. He's a tattoos. boy. He's a male gay. No. He's like. <laughs> that makes Zendaya a man. He's a man gay. <laughs> no, little Tom Holland's not. He's not a lesbian, though, is he? He's more gay than he is a lesbian. That's a fact. I think he's just a straight bloke, isn't he? Yeah, he's more yeah, totally. a straight bloke than he's he a lesbian or a gay. gay. Yeah, but if sexuality is a spectrum. Like, he leans lesbian. Oh, he, yeah, 100%. <laughs> he's so mad at us today. Literally, nothing nice been said today. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let's all, go, let's all go around and say something Oasis nice. Thanks, yeah, go on, let's go and say, go on. You say something nice to Finn. About Finn. Oh, that's um, fine. I actually like that fleece. Actually, I actually that's made it fleece. negative I think, still. I think your wallet is useful because it can be used for self-defense. Yeah. It's about your clothes. Again, not about me. You've got, thank you. You've got lovely eyes. Finn, you're I a lot don't. taller. I, I than People think I'm stoned all the time, despite sometimes I am. I've just got bloodshot eyes. Your skin is glowing as well. It's not. I've got bad skin. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Take the See, you ask for compliments, we give you them. And you I, didn't ask, I didn't ask for compliments. You're big lesbian. I just said I haven't been getting you're any. You're a lot taller than you look. This is all You're taller than your vibe. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's small man energy, that says. <laughs> small lesbian man energy. <laughs> got the energy of a man with a big dick who doesn't know how to use it. Do you if, know what I mean? If Finn quits, we know why, though, don't we? Yeah, this. <laughs> Do you remember, I've said this before, a guy in our school said to our friend who's a bit uncool, um, you, seem, you seem like one of them uncool guys with a big dick. That sounds like a bit of you, doesn't it? That's what I like? Yeah, like they're not cool, but they have the pack. No, no, they are cool. But they were like, they weren't cool in high school because no one could appreciate how cool they actually were because they like liked good music and like read literature. I like a guy who reads l Russian literature, is depressed because of it. And he's a lesbian. And is a lesbian. You must have had a class time at the fringe, you know, because that is everybody. Yeah, a lot of goth there. magicians. <laughs> 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 no wonder you went to Edinburgh for a week. Absolute avalanche. <laughs> no, I have a, I have a boyfriend, and he is a comedian, and he like re reads Russian literature. Right. Okay. So, so I that was found just him. A big PSA for him. Yeah, That's yeah. Just yeah. you going. Keep that was crack, him. Crack but on, you know, John. it's my type. Yeah. My well, my my Jewish boyfriend who I was converting for looked like um, Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, he had like the mustache and the tattoos. Pirates of the Caribbean. We say it different. Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> when an American comes on, we should change the name of the podcast that we say. Hey, what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> Have a word, the proper word. Um, let's do some other words and then get the fuck out of here. Craig says, Lids, I need you to have a word with uh, my mate Paul. We often meet up after work and go for a Nando's or a KFC or something, and he brings his own sauce in. He's got this squeezy bottle of Chipotle mayo that he keeps in his bag and eats it with every food. I've been able to live with it in fast food places, fair enough, but the other night we had a little date night with our other halves at a posh Italian restaurant. He brought out the <laughs> bottle again from his coat pocket. Worst of all, he left the bottle on the table so he could squirt more. His fiance just shook her head like she'd seen it loads before, but I couldn't believe he was doing it in a place that had actual table service. Have a word with this pedo behavior. Love from <laughs> Craig. This is just, this is like stay at Nando's, <laughs> bringing his own ketchup. Do you bring your own ketchup? Yeah. Or you just use, the, they already have ketchup stick. He just doesn't want to risk it. <laughs> I'd do this, by the way. Ketchup on Lucas. But I'd, I'd be, I'd be, there'd be shame in my heart. 
You do. I do it. I'd, I'd and then I'd hide it. At a nice like, restaurant. I wouldn't be on the table with what sauce? I don't know, like like hot sauce, a bit of hot sauce. At a nice restaurants, you'd pull out your own bottle of sauce. I haven't done it, <laughs> but I'm, I'd do it. Oh, that would no. You can't. Just a really good hot sauce. You know the red, the wings hot sauce. Frank's hot sauce. The buffalo one. Yeah, you Frank's know what? Buffalo. I would do it too. Now that I think about it. But I would never leave it out. I'd do it with my. You're wife at a Michelin star oh, yeah. restaurant. And you, you're whipping out Frank's buffalo if sauce. I, yeah, but if I'm at a Michelin star restaurant and I'm already going to spend so much money, I want to maximize the experience. So if there's a sauce I really like, I'm going to bring it. Would you allow that? that I mean, you get I don't time, actually, I think. I think they'd be like, what are you doing? The chef would probably come up and be like, are you fucking joking? Do you know who I am? Do you know who my dad is? Who is he? I'm Jeff Chef. <laughs> Jeff Chef. He's massive. Jeff Chef. I, I actually picked the name Jeff before I realized what the surname was going to be. Yeah. Jeff, yeah. Especially if you did that before you'd tried it. Because like, like a Michelin star restaurant, like that is the best food you've ever had. You can't believe how good it tastes once in your mouth. And they perfectly balance the flavors, which is why it's got a Michelin star. And you're putting Frank's hot sauce. Yeah, but what about, what if you want the balance of a little more hot sauce? Come on. I'll add an extra star. As, star a, as, a, as a chef, <laughs> I'm offended. Oh, because you're a Michelin star chef. No, I'm I remember. not. I'm not, but I'm a good one. So I see a lot of baity like TikToks and Instagram reels where like an American goes into an Italian restaurant in Italy oh, yeah. and puts ketchup on the pizza. Oh, and like, yeah, oh my fan cool. Or the Italian. What's that mean in Italian? What the fuck? Okay. I've seen that too. And like, I some think of them just fake, stop right? and don't they? Are they? I think those are fake. Mm. I've seen them. I think the reaction is genuine. Really? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm. I've but that, I wouldn't fuck with Italians in Italy with that stuff. I There's just... an Italian restaurant that has a menu and then to get pineapple, it's $100. To add pineapple to the pizza? To add pineapple is $100. Do you guys like pineapple on pizza? I mean, I don't not like it. I wouldn't pick it. I think it. it's good. I can do it. I think it's good. Pineapple and jalapeno. jalapeno. Weirdly works. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. And oregano. <laughs> oregano. Tortilla. Oregano. <laughs> oregano. <laughs> uh, FJ says, wag wag lids. Have a word. Uh, I have. I have a word for you. Bit of a dilemma involving my girlfriend. One of her close friends is having a party in a couple of weeks, which starts at five p.m. on Friday. All is well there. However, she is expecting me to take the whole day off work because all of them are pre-drinking together for the day at hers. I've told her I'm not taking the day off work just to pre-drink. That I'm happy to meet her at the party at five p.m. when it starts after work. She hasn't taken this well at all and thinks it's a good opportunity to meet and talk to all her friends. And my argument to that is. I can do all of those things when I get to the party at 5 p.m. And that I don't think pre-drink warrants a day off work. We are currently saving up to move in together and so ideally need to be working as much as possible. Have a word with one of us as this debate needs settling. Nice one, Lids. Love the pot. She's an idiot. I mean, if it's a birthday. Her birthday. I think you get the special dispensation for a birthday. Is eh? it her birthday though? I don't think it is. No. Bollocks. Auto bollocks. This girl sounds crazy. Yeah. She's fit. Why does she but why is he complaining about taking a day off work? Because he, he will lose the money. Oh, yeah. You guys don't have unlimited PTO or whatever. You have 28 do, days. Do you? I have unlimited. What? Yeah. You can take as many days as you like. Yeah. As a comedian. Well, as a, I have like a TikTok show that's part of a company. I have unlimited time off. There's and they, a lot and they of they still pay you. Yeah. Oh shit, I need a TikTok show. But the, there's a, there's a psychology behind it that if you have unlimited time off, you don't actually take as much time off because you feel bad. A lot of American companies do this. What's yeah. the average? In, so it's 28 days in the UK. <laughs> that, I don't think that would the work average, with the British most workforce. Most people only have 10 days off, I think, in the US. Or no, I mean, like, like legally, what do you get? What? What do you get legally? Is that like a regular thing for everyone to just I don't think there's a... Oh, really? No. No, you agree in your contract. Like, Nobody takes vacations in the US. It's dodgy with employment law over there, isn't it? Because it's the scary... The unions and stuff. Like, it's a bit different. It's more unionized over here, like minimum wage and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's different, yeah. So a lot of people only have, like, eight days PTO. How many do you take? So many. <laughs> just so many. I haven't logged into Slack in a month. And they're still paying you? Yeah. Mental class. But, but I'm, like, but I, like, have a TikTok show. I, have, I run it in the background. So there's not much, like, you know. You must be good. Yeah. It's pretty nice. But when it's your thing, we don't take like, we don't take a lot of episodes we off. Don't you, take, we don't, you hardly take any off. Adam only takes one we have that here, yeah. We have unlimited time off. We have a word, really. We just don't do it. We just don't yeah, really. I'm, never, I'm never actually off because I have to post three times a week and I have yeah, to, yeah. whatever. So I'm never really actually off. 
but I just, I'm not really responding to people on Slack, but pe no one's reaching out to me anyway. Yeah. We don't do it because it damaged the brand. Any of us for going off lessons, the show brand, doesn't it? Like occasionally when we have a guest hosting, people are like, oh, that was a great episode, but the listeners really want just mm. all of us. Mm. Apart from that 10% of listeners who hate you and the 10% who hate Finn and the 10% who hate Dan. 50% of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, setting you up. <laughs> weird little dig. Um, I honestly think you, no one should be able to take, tell you when to take time off. I think it's a weird encroachment on your, like, fuck off. Yeah. I By the way, I love day drinking, but not on a Friday when... You're meant to be at work. Yeah, you don't have a day drink. I'd take that fun. day off, yeah. But it, like, he's got every right to tell us to fuck off. <laughs> you like a day drink? I love a day drink more than a night drink. Oh, day drink's well better than night drink. It's so much better. The worst is though, when you're day drinking with the idea that you're also going to night drink, you're not going to make it. No. It's oh. like, people are like, oh, we'll take a nap. We'll eat and we'll go back out. You're never going to leave the house. Yeah, you're absolutely that, mulled by one. You're done. Eating and napping is what costs you there though. You just you go down. keep going. You either have to keep going or what? The second yeah. you stop, it's over. How's New York for boozing? Are we like, do you end up in just one area or are you in taxis loads? Um, I don't know. I, I don't really go out that much because it's like, if you're a comic, you're really at the clubs at nights. So you're not like, I, it's been a few years since I've like engaged that much, but there is a lot of places you can like day drink and then walk around and stuff. Mm. Are you on tour, Steph? Are you touring or what's, where, where are you at with your comedy? Um, yeah, I'm about to start touring again in the fall. Uh, me and Gabby are going on tour again in the UK uh, in March of next year. And I have more tour dates being announced. Where soon. can we find all of that online? On my Instagram, at Steph Dags, S-T-E-F-D-A-G-Z. Well, thanks what? for coming in, mate. Thank thanks you so much for coming me. in. Um, this is fun. I've got some stuff getting announced over the next few days and next week. Some of the stuff might already be announced by the time this episode goes out. Um, and if not, keep your eyes up next week while I'm in Australia. Uh, Dan is still doing some Fiend shows. Yeah, there's some tickets are available for Sheffield, Southport, Darwin, but the rest are basically sold out. So DanNightingale.com for some of the Dan Nightingale and Fiend shows. Uh, oh, we've got some big stuff getting announced soon, haven't we? Oh, we have. Oh, it's announcement season, boy. Finn? Dan is doing the song this week. Oh, yeah. I found a, uh, a music producer who I think is class. He's called Namino. At Namino Music. N-I-M-I-N-O. Is it going to be some of that unce, It's got a little bit of unce, unce. It's called I Only Smoke When I Drink. And I fucking love this tune. Um, I like also that he's about our level in terms of where he's at as a uh, in his career. It's about to blow up for him. I think when I found this on Instagram stories, on, in on Reels, he was at about 70,000 followers. In the like three weeks since then, he's up to 100,000 followers. Like it's about to kick off. This is exactly my type of dance music. Uh, so give Namino Music a follow. Should we? Has he got a song that we we're playing for him? Yeah, I only smoke when I drink. Oh, yeah, this is what it's called. Carl just zoned out there, I think. Very unprofessional. And I only think about you, you, you. Uh, Steph, it's been a pleasure meeting you, mate. It's been nice Enjoy meeting you Enjoy the rest guys. of the time Thank in the you. UK. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.